I'm going to start you all in Summer Breeze. Uh, we should all start new characters, probably just for balance. So if you go into your character, you should pick one of the four. Um, uh, I might accuse me of not updating this, uh, but I definitely have updated this. You sh should choose Mariner, Soldier, Scout, and Scholar. The affinity skills for those have changed slightly. I moved Duelist to a little bit later, and I moved Armsman uh, to a different position. But otherwise, we have with Mariner, you get Thief, Rogue, Delver, and Berserker. With Soldier, you get Berserker, Champion, Armsman. With Scout, you get Armsman, Tactician, and Spy. With the Scholar, you pick up Mystic, Sorcerer, and Conjurer. Probably for balance in a group this size, we should have one of each character. Uh, with uh, four of you playing, I probably will not play, although if we need my character, I'll jump in occasionally. So pick that one main skill. Uh, Rusty, did you what did you pick? A scholar again, or did you go with a different? Well, I'm gonna wait. I want to see if anybody doesn't pick one, and I'll just pick that. Okay, well then why don't we go to Conrad? Conrad, which one are you gonna pick up? You're gonna pick I was the gonna Mariner take again? a scholar this time. Since okay, I'm, that's fine. Since a I'm scholar. A, character, right? a, a scholar for the lad. And uh, uh, Fred, which one did you want? I'm just gonna stay scout then. No one else is playing a scout, right? Sounds good. So we need a mariner and a soldier. Uh, Greg, do I got you in the game yet, or are you still? Yeah, I. You guys can hear me. I have yes, all, I can hear you. I'll be a mariner then. Okay, we'll get uh, at least soldier then. And uh, Rusty will uh, will play the tank, even though there's no tank needed in Conrad's fantasy. So I, I have got you on this uh, initial page, and you're outside the town of Suburb Breeze. Forgive me that I got you in the water. It just seems convenient. I'll move you over here to land, but just realize that you're in the town of Summer Breeze. And uh, you read a wanted poster, and it's an opportunity issued by Mayor Saunter. And he wants you to locate a missing person. It's the mayor's son, and his uh, son is actually a romantic. Ever you can talk to anyone in town about that. He's never really left the town until three days ago. Uh, he was supposed to just go down to Winterby, Winterby, uh, right down the road, and he was just taking the mail there. And he was supposed to return easily within a half a day or two days, but he has been gone for three days. And uh, the man's name is David Saunter, and there is already a rival group led by Vitelli. Now, you know Vitelli from the local area. He's a little bit of a braggart, but he's probably your, your main competition for these sort of uh, 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 job jar type of uh, quests. And uh, Vitelli has already gone off to look for David, uh, and they, um, they supposedly are going to take – they headed out by the road so that uh, if you want to find him – uh, uh, Vitelli has um, horses, so he's going to always be a step ahead of you if you decide to take the road. But who knows? You may go a day out of the road and find them all with their heads on pikes. Now, uh, Summer Breeze itself is just a seaport filled with mariners. There is money to be made in this boom town. Many of the locals worship the kraken as a symbol, not as the actual beast, since uh, one has not been seen in ages. So we have our starting quest. We're going to find... Uh, the mayor's son, David, and uh, we are in a competition with Vitelli, uh, simple stuff. And you have your starting skills and you have your affinity skills. None of you have used magic yet. So the first time you do your first acts in any of the six uh, uh, magical laws, that will give you your, your introduction into magic and then allow your character to go further from there. Yeah, Any that, questions that was, before that we was start? my class time hack in the laws. Yes, Mark. Mike went. Mike is uh, is a magic uh, maestro. Um, I'll start with Rusty. Rusty, uh, you'll make the first act as the party. Where would you like to head as the party? Sort of broad sweeps here. Uh, let's go into Summer Breeze, I guess. Or is that where we're starting? You're starting from Summer Breeze, yes. Then let's um, go to Winterby. OK, you're going to head down the road to Winterby. Well, you make it about halfway to Winterby and um, the players are uh, see a wooden chest. Now, it must have fallen off the back of, uh, of just a, uh, a normal uh, peddler's cart, but it looks like one of the hinges broken. So you can maybe get a peek inside without even messing with the lock. Uh, what would you like to do, Rusty, before I pass the big die over to someone else? Oh, I'm, I'm going to look through the hinge. Okay, you're going to look through. Okay, when you look through, inside you see what looks like a rat. 
but it looks like something else is in the chest, but you can't quite make it out because it's not, um, you know, it's, it's shady. So I'll, ask, I'll allow you to ask one more question. Is the rat alive? Yes, definitely alive. Now I'm going to move over to Conrad. Conrad, uh, we have a chest that probably fell off of a cart. It has a rat in it and something else. I'm sorry, the cart has the rat in it or the chest the, has the rat in it? The chest has the rat in it, yes. The chest probably fell off of a cart is what you assume. It doesn't look okay. like we it's going to contain a huge amount of cart. treasure. No, the okay. cart is not to be seen. Chest in the road, rat in the chest. Correct. And, and we know that because we've, kind of, we've kind of scooched the lid open and seen there's a rat in there. That's correct. I'm One of the hinges is broken. Mm -hmm. And it yeah, appears to be relatively aggressive. Find out if the aggressive. rat could have gotten through that hole, Conrad. There's in the no, chest? There's, there's no telling how the rat got into the chest at this time. Yeah, but so is the hole either, big enough? So the question is, was the rat in the chest when it dropped off the cart, or did the rat go into the chest after? Sure, you can ask the, the rat with magic, but that would be a, you know. No, I mean that's what we were. That's, 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 that's yeah, that's, sort of, that's that's yeah. sort of the dilemma we're in. Yes. And the, and yeah. we we can't tell if there's anything else in the chest. You cannot the, because it's too dark. Uh, you could try to apply, uh, you know, just a candlelight if you want, or you could try to magic light. You could do all sorts of things. Uh, with Let's the just kick the chest over and see if it'll see if we can spring the lid and. And Sounds good. I won't, even, I won't even make a roll there. So you kick open the lid and out tumbles the rat. And on top of the rat is a five inch tall humanoid. And he's armed with a long knitting needle. And he says that I am I am the mighty rat knight. And uh, he would said, would you like a joke or would you like a riddle? Uh, I would prefer a joke. A joke, of course. Everyone loves a joke. Yeah. Um, what can make an octopus yeah, laugh? What can make an octopus laugh? Uh, I don't know. What can make an octopus laugh? Ten tickles. Do you get it? Tentacles. <laughs> that was funny. And he says that uh, he's not only a joker, he's a riddler. And uh, with that, he sort of scampers off and... Uh, you probably are going to see him again as a portent. He could be a magical portent. He could be a divine portent. In Conrad's fantasy, we t tend to amp up the whimsy just a little bit, at least the way I play it, because I, like, um, I like the fairy tale element. And other than that, we head down the road to Winterby, and when we get there, Fred, let me look and see what I have in Winterby. Winterby, now the place smells of glue. It's basically a place where they boil down horns and hooves and uh, turn them into, you know, varnish and varnish and glue. The city is not that prosperous since the elves of the new forest stopped trading. Now, they will pay each player a silver coin, which is a huge amount of money, probably a month's worth of money in, a, in, in this sort of campaign environment. If you can bring back a sack of antlers from the forest, the new forest. And so sort of second uh, quest is on the table. It's on the other side of the mountains. Huh? Well, you, there is a road that will get you there. Now, you can either scour the new forest for the uh, uh, for the antlers. It could be, you know. A, a a quest that also leads you to uh, the mayor's son, or it could be a distraction that takes you away from Vitelli, who is uh, probably going down straight down the road. Uh, do you have a question that you'd like to ask the people of the town, uh, Fred? Um, yeah. Uh, what, what, um, how many people have died trying to get to this new forest? <laughs> well. The, the death rate is probably not, you know, <laughs> it's not super high. This is not, you know, uh, uh, it's, it's easy. Why don't they just do it? You know, if there's yeah, a road and everything. Well, I, it's uh, these guys make glue. They're not adventurers. It isn't. It isn't that they're they're they don't want to go and get the antlers. It's that if they could hire somebody to get the antlers, they can make glue while the other people are getting antlers. So don't sure. see it as. Mm -hmm. Don't see it as they think that Likely, the elves yes. are going to eat you if you go there. You don't. I'm not worried about being eaten. I'm worried about being turned into a pincushion. Hmm. Well, 
maybe not a pin cushion, but yeah, uh, I, you are, know, are the a, antlers a, sacred a, a to them? Is doll. taking them going to get us in trouble with them? That the antlers would just every every uh, uh, spring, the uh, moose and the elk are growing new antlers, and they're losing the uh, antlers that they had in the probably fall or winter, if I remember so the ecosystem. If a human well. just goes and picks one up, though, and you would just back, have to wander the elk in elk go forest. Over. What could war? go wrong? What could are, go wrong? Are the elves going to declare war? Is that what's going to happen? <laughs> it could. Uh, you, you, you've, you've game with me long enough that you know in the last four or five years anything can happen with that mistake. Or you can continue your primary quest to find uh, the mayor's son. Up to you. Side quest time, or, or do we keep looking for the, guy, the, the little boy? I will point out a silver each. I know, man. We're talking. We're talking mega, mega cash here. We'll have a whole. Brad, were we piece. supposed to roll our glory pips? Oh yes, please. Uh, everyone gets a uh, half a D eight of those uh, to add to your dice rolls. Yeah, I had two from last time, so I'll just keep. Okay. Them. Um. Do we? I don't know. This is a tough question. Was there any kind of like time frame we were supposed to get this boy back? Or no, the only time frame that you're fighting is the fact that there's another group that's going to uh, win the acclaim. Oh, that's that's what was. Yeah, we're we're in if competition. It, if it helps, there's a really good chance that he's missing because he went into the forest looking for antlers to get the silver from you know these guys. That is so. a logical assumption that perhaps he was. You know, a young man, romantic, in search of some sort of adventure, making a name for himself. They say that uh, when you ask about it, uh, give me a roll of two dice for a eight, uh, Fred. Two dice for an eight. I think we briefly oh, lost Conrad from roll so 20. Two. Yeah, he'll be back in a minute. He said he had to reboot. And uh, uh, Fred, no, Fred, Fred did not. Uh, oh boy, Fred got a mishap here. Fred, <laughs> they said, doubles. they said you're wasting our time, Fred, with that double. That double won't be actually combat harm or encounter harm, Ooh, but it is a bad good. reaction. Yeah. So they say either accept the job, or we'll find somebody else. If you're looking for the mayor's son, we have no idea. He he, he did not come and pick up the mail that he was supposed to come and pick oh. up. Oh, oh! There's maybe we can we can get the mail while we're here too and bring it back. <laughs> sure, you want to pick the mail up about again? That. It's uh, it's incidental, but sure, pick up. We the could mail. find your kid, but here's your mail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to get you the reward that you're looking for. All right, I'm going to move over to Greg. Greg, you're, you're next on the uh, next on the hit parade here. Which do you want to do? You want to go looking for antlers? Do you want to push down the road? Did you want to backtrack? It's entirely up to you what you want to do in this situation. Let's go looking for antlers. Okay, we're going to head on the antlers. As we uh, now, the new forest is up here in this direction. Oh, just let's so. go looking for antlers. Oh, okay. Now, uh, halfway there along the road, uh, the rat knight comes back and he says, uh, "Would you like a joke?" Or would you like a riddle? Let's go with a riddle this time. Ah, now what did the scholar create when he threw his books in the ocean? Sounds a lot like his. What did the scholar create when he threw his books in the ocean? A tidal wave. Ah, and all these came from a website for uh, riddles and jokes for children. And uh, we're going to move on to the new forest. The elves who live here can be very territorial, you find out. Uh, they decide that they're not going to allow you to use the road. So you reach the edge of their forest and they say, uh, you may not enter from this direction. You have to prove your worth by going around through the other paths to the north. And maybe if you enter the road coming south, that will let you in. Ooh, it's gonna start taking up a lot of time, huh? Yes, definitely a time uh, waster here. Um, question. Let's ask the elves if they saw the mayor's son. Uh, give yeah. me a roll of uh, an eight, Rusty. Good one, Rusty. Good one. Make the roll. Make the roll. Come on, Rusty. Let's see. I got ones. a button now. <laughs> oh, roll double sixes. They have not. They have not seen the uh, the mayor's son. Uh, they have heard through, you know, the forest folk are quite uncanny about this. And they know that the, the mayor's son uh, was supposed to deliver the mail to Winterby. And they know that he never arrived there. 
At least it wasn't double ones this time, Rusty. Right. At and I'm gonna, yes. <laughs> I'm moving over to. Do Rusty. I get to check and uh, craft these beads for that? Uh, yeah, sure, but uh, we're we're really not uh, uh, worried about achievements at this point, Rusty. But that's fine. You can check your. I'll crafty take everything deeds. I can get. Go ahead and check your achievement for crafty deeds, and uh, Rusty will push it back over to you. You have this tidbit of information that the new forest. Uh, would you like to ask them if they would like to give you um, antlers, or did you want to uh, backtrack to winter bee? Did you want to follow the mountains around and see if the elves were saying the truth that if you enter from the uh, from the northern direction that you're, they'll allow you to enter? How do you want to play this? I, I think I'm going to ask the elves. Uh, uh, the, uh, we would like we would like some antlers. Uh, what would you like in exchange for giving us antlers? Do you have mm. antlers? They do have antlers. They say the antlers are all over the forest floor, and they could provide the antlers. They they don't like the people in Winterby. They don't feel like uh, there there was a big enough shrine. Uh, it's it's it used to Winterby used to have a shrine uh, for the forest, and if you can get Winterby to to reconstruct their shrine for the forest, they'll reestablish trade. You could just go and build one in Winterby and then, you know, get pelted by garbage for a moment. We do need combat eventually. Or you can go and kill some elves and force your way in the forest to pick up some antlers. I think those would probably be the two definitive solutions. But other than that, where would you like to do? What would you like to do, Rusty? Sure, let's decide an elf human war. Let's do it. No, no, I think, uh, yeah. That- <laughs> I think we'll we'll go back to it and see if we can build a shrine. Okay, you're gonna go back easy, to Winterby, easy. and I go to Conrad. Oh, on the road back, guess what? So uh, we got uh, w- w- uh, Rusty. Would you like a riddle or a joke? A joke. A joke. Who is I'm supposed with riddles? Who is supposed to keep the ocean beds clean? Who is oh, supposed? The mermaids. It, the mermaids. Oh, you answered the <laughs> well you done. answered him. He's he's sort of sad that you answered his riddle, but you know, okay. He 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 guess he likes you. All right. So now the the rat knight seems to be following behind you for some reason. And in Winterby, Conrad, the elves say if they had a proper uh, shrine to the forest, a tree sh- uh, shrine, maybe plant an oak tree nearby. Uh, they would be happy to allow the the people of Winterby or yourselves to collect uh, horns. What would you like to do? We still also yeah, have prop, the uh, the mystery shrine of in winter in Winterby, right? Yes. Uh, for the elves, is there a, a hill overlooking no, for the Winterby new forest? For the new forest, sure. Is there a hill overlooking Winterby? Yeah, it's a slight a slight rise. It and does we think look perhaps like growing a tree would be would make sense. Oh, yeah, absolutely. A growing a, a, planting an oak tree there would definitely make sense. Let's we'll plant an oak tree there. Okay, you probably have to get an acorn from just from the forest south of you. Okay. Okay, give me a roll of uh, an eight. An eight it is. On They're two in dice. back again. Yes. No two more doubles. We've eight. already rolled doubles a bunch. Twelve oh, it is. Wow, get those doubles out of the way. You plant the oak tree there, and the people realize that, yes, you know, maybe they shouldn't have uh, decided that to clear cut all of the woods around their place uh, <laughs> because it is expensive to, to send the woodcutters south. Uh, the, they mentioned that the, the forest of Westwood has almost been entirely cut down by woodcutters that are bringing wood to uh, Southern Well. And, of course, we have that big old dungeon of secret here in the middle uh, from the map that was generated um would you like a riddle or would you like a joke i think we'd like a joke uh where is the ocean deepest uh mm. i don't know where is an ocean the deepest at the bottom (laughs) that's true it's it's both and that's, true and that's like a riddle true and it, it well. is it is a riddle true and and it is a it's an it's an ironic thing that the bottom would always be the deepest so you have satisfied the winter bee uh and the and also mitigated the problems in the new forest which is nice you go to collect your horns there you bring them back you get your silver uh uh coins that's probably at least a day and on that day Eventually, Vitelli comes back and passes through Winterby. Now, Vitelli 
tells you that uh, uh, he wants to make a deal. He said he's been all the way down to Southern Well and the uh, and uh, the mayor's son, uh, Mayor Saunter's son, did not reach uh, Southern Well as either. And he wants to make a deal with you. He says if if we can search Westwood, uh, the Dungeons of Secret and maybe the southern portion of New Forest, if you uh, if you go and search the Ironwind Sands, the Ever Sands and the and the northern portion of uh, New uh, Forest, which you can claim that you already been there. Uh, if whoever finds the mayor's son, you can split the reward. So um, I'm going to move over to Fred. Fred, do you think this guy is telling you the truth? No. Okay. Now, how do you know that? What, use a character skill. Uh, spy. Spy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. Give me a roll of an eight for spy. Okay. Two d eight or? Yeah. Two d eight. Ooh yeah. <laughs> Easy. Wow. Yeah. Now, you know, you know, from past experiences with Vitelli that, uh, no, he probably has a hunch or clue that 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 uh, the mayor's son is somewhere to the south. Oh, He's sending you on there. a wild goose chase. Mm -hmm. So you can either agree to his proposal and then betray him or you could refuse his proposal and then continue to keep this as a uh, as a, I'm, uh, I'm, a competition. I'm I'm going to whisper to one of the players, uh, other players' ears that he's lying and let them make a wise decision. Um, Greg, what do you think? Should you uh, lie to Vitelli back or should you just say, no, this is a competition or should you leave it open? How do you want to play this? Um, <clears throat> let's uh, confirm whether or not he's uh, scamming us. I said, well, at great. I have a great idea. We'll search south, you search north, and then we'll split – the uh we'll split the uh treasure say 70 30. okay he, he works with you 70 30 you mean 70 percent toward vitelli yeah wow okay uh and, he, he says that um that the, his horses would probably not navigate the iron sands and the ever sands very well you really need camels especially to get to the ever sands he thinks he can make it uh more uh, to the Westwood Forest and deal with the people down to the south a lot easier on horseback than you can. And uh, so he says that um, logically he still wants to cover the south. And he says we don't need that 70-30 split. And give me two dice, uh, Greg, for an eight. This to know that he's lying. Eleven. Yeah, you know he's lying. He has a secret that he's hiding somewhere in the south. Yeah. Shall we say he has a whole dungeon of secrets that he's hiding in the south? All right. Let's say no problem. We'll search the north, but then we will actually just make our way straight. Okay. And so now that uh, Vitelli heads back out on the road south, uh, you could just head behind him and he probably would, would make better progress than you will. Or you can decide maybe to get a boat in Winterby and try to move down the coastline. You have at least one mariner. Yeah, I'm a mariner, so I would definitely, that's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, so give Great. me a roll of an eight to take a boat down the coast. Old mariner, 10. Greg, I'm gonna put you right here and you can get to the Dungeon of Secrets, which we have no idea what that's about, or you can get to Westwood Forest and find out what's going on there before uh, Vitelli. Which would you like to head toward? Is this still my choice? Sure. Or we can pass to Rusty. Yep. It's, it's, it's up yeah. to you. Let's, let's, yeah, let's move to Rusty. Oh, well, I, Rusty, how, which way would you like to go to? Dungeons of Secrets or Westwood Forest? Uh, let's see. Everything's been hinting that we want to go to the Dungeons of Secrets. And it, it is. of course, it's got that nice skull there. Yeah, it's so sad. It's I, skull. I, th I think uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and, uh, even though it's imprudent, we'll go where red is hinting. So, <laughs> which is which is the dungeons of secrets. Off to the dungeons of secret. Okay. Well, the dungeons of secret is not it's not terrible. Uh, the place is an ancient city and has attracted many fortune hunters. Uh, could take years to fully explore. However, there could be a magical way to locate the hot spot related to this quest. So, hmm, you could make a first act uh, roll of 
perhaps uh, law six, uh, what is known is known, what isn't known is not known, and break a law six on a roll of an eight, Rusty, and uh, and figure out where in the Dungeons of Secrets, if, um, if the mayor's son is there, uh, then where he would be. Two dice. Okay. Two dice, it's up. bad. Okay, check- let's do it. <laughs> yeah. oh, right. Check your, I, I, you know, this is the total reverse, I think, uh, from the previous game where we've made every roll, right? This is just a hot game for uh, my brother Rusty. So, uh, Rusty, you know, yes, there's a portion of the Dungeon of Secrets, which is called the Shadow Subterrain. And there you can find a wise man. And the wise man would be able to tell you where the mayor's son is. Now, he may have a, he may want to make a deal or he may have a, a task of his own that needs to perform, but that definitely there's a wise man who lives within the Dungeon of Secrets. Is that where you want to go? Or did you want to find out a little bit more about this uh, this man of secrets? And the only way to do that maybe would be to go to Southern Well. Hmm. Oh, it's still my decision? Okay. Sure. Uh, we'll, we'll, go, we'll, we'll go for the wise man. Okay, so right. you're going to go for the wise men in the Dungeon of Secrets. Yes, I, I'm, Nick, what could it, go wrong, right, Conrad? I think, I think it's a good choice. All right. Well, that's ominous. Ominous. Brad thinks it's a good choice. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're dead for sure. Well, the the, <laughs> the shadow subterrain, uh, you can enter from uh, an entrance that smells like mold. Or you can enter through an entrance that smells like sweat. And this would well, go to see, Conrad. These are choices. It's nice that we actually have the whole map this time. Yes, you have the whole map. Um, so guessing that the place we want to get to is... Uh, You're trying to, to find a wise man somehow in this. Yeah. I'm guessing the place we're looking for is to the north side. So we will go to the area that smells like the west. Uh, it smells like the sweat. Okay. Sweat. Now yeah, we, sorry. When, that's all right. And as you enter the area that smells like sweat, there appears to be some sort of juvenile rut, and slightly to the south, there's some sort of hail wind. Now, you're going to have to cross the area of Juvenile Rut in order to get to the Hail Wind, but you can bypass both by hugging the walls on rolls of eight. What would you like to do? I'm sorry, Juvenile Rut means – it's a smell of Juvenile Rut, meaning – Meaning, meaning uh, people who just yeah. are not very clean. Okay. Uh, I say we avoid the smell. You can go back to the uh, smell of the mold if you wish. Uh, yeah, the mold, mold people mold smell bad. like mold. Yeah. yeah. He's a wise man. We should be over there where the mold is. Mold is bad, right? Mold is probably bad, yes. Yeah, mold, let's, is, let's, uh, mold is older. Let's attempt to uh, to scooch along the wall and avoid the smell of the juvenile rut. Give me a roll of an eight, Conrad, and, apl- and apply a uh, uh, an ability, a skill of yours. Um, let's see. I am a scholar, so... Um, what do your books tell you about sneaking? So you could uh, just use your scholar skill. Yeah, so, I, so basically I'm using my scholar skill just to make my way around the uh, the outside. And the book says, you know, don't try to make a big fuss of it. Just walk normally. Was there a story, you know, a legend of somebody who was uh, trying to be small or somebody who was trying to be sneaky that you I, would? I would say it's more of a common sense thing, like a. One of these almanac kind of things, right? Uh, yes. Okay, yeah, I follow. Ben's, Give me a yeah, roll of an farmer, eight. Farmer Ben's almanac says, "Hey, when farmer you farmer says in, in the presence of juvenile rut, uh, assume it's not donkeys, but uh, yes. give me a two dice. You made two your dice eight. Nine. Let's go around the table. How about Fred? Fred, how do you get oh, past? I'm scouting. I'm, I'm scouting. Obviously, you're using yeah. obviously you're scouting. You're 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 selecting your footfalls. You're making sure that Got the uh, you're, there's this nothing way, guys, sharp. Give me two way. dice. Foolishly. And eight. Woo. Now, Fred, I will allow you to make a second roll of scout to cover somebody else if it's missed and if it's needed. So let's go to Greg. Greg, how do you get past the uh, the area? Oh, and you're starting to see, uh, Greg, that the uh, the area has some bandits in it. Who's the soldier? 
All right, I'm gonna go. No, I'm yeah, I'm the Mariner, but I have um, Delver by affinity, so I'm going to use my Delver skills to move. Uh, so, so you want to do it as a Mariner? It's a lower number then. It's true. A uh, Mariner will be a roll of an eight, but you'll have to justify it to me. Uh, Don't you ever uh, Delver's snuck a roll on of the 10. boat? You know, snuck out of the out of the, out of the uh, barracks before or something? Or the... <laughs> <laughs> that's actually, that's it. that's pretty good, Fred. <laughs> yeah. So you've you've uh, the boat is a natural prison, and in order to get any sort of shore leave, occasionally you have yeah. to get in and out of it without being caught. A, a great and great suggestion, uh, yeah, Fred. Move around, not wake too up. Nice for night. An eight. Fred is on his A game wow. today, and uh, and Greg didn't even need it. He could have made no, it. And then no, Greg, Greg just sort of says, but I'm soldier. also a Delver, and a Delver <laughs> knows to stay out of the light. That yeah. brings us to the final role we'll need to make. Rusty, you're a soldier. How do you get past I'm, I'm the cover for the soldier. The moment As of a good truth. soldier, I always follow the scout. You always the follow the scout. True. true. Two Thank dice. You, All right. You want me to roll the cover for him? If <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! So oh, yes. close, Pip. You've got a glory pip. pip, or you, or you yeah, got a waste of an eight. A, I'm not going to waste a pip on this. Let, let me see if I can make it for him. Fred, nope, let's nope, see. nope. You better, right, you better spend a pip. a battle. <laughs> we wanted a battle by now, anyway, right? Battles we are nice. All right, Russ just wanted to fight. He's a. We're going to fight a gang of thieves. There are going to be seven of them. Let's see if I got. Oh, a, yeah, that's a fair number. <laughs> oh, this uh, this is after we played uh, the previous week. I realized, oh, you guys can handle a lot worse than I've been giving you. So, uh, yeah, let me see if I can find something that looks yeah, a lot rusty. stronger than the old Conrad. Not, not rusty, but uh, <laughs> yeah, but last time I never missed a roll. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the dice was. Here's a perfect dice. one. Let me grab that and just drop it down in here. And uh, I can uh, I can use the graphic. I can resize it. Thank you, Roll20. Uh, seems like it's one of the only games in town, although I'm sure uh, I'll get hate mail for saying that. And I'm going to put a big seven in here for the seven guys we have to kill. And off we go into the room here. And the way we do this is we're going to start with uh, Rusty. And Rusty, you are going to roll against your skills, and we are going to put those skills in play. And after we put those skills in play, we can combine them. And pretty much at this point, any two skills that you put in play that are of a professional nature can be used to make actions. These are easy actions, by the way. So before we pull up the easy actions to find out how you avoid unnerved or being knocked prone, let's just see if we can put a couple of uh, skills in play. Rusty, how would you like to do this? Where, do, where would you like to start? It's a battle. I'm going to use my soldier. Okay, let's start with soldier. Soldier's pretty easy to do. Give me two dice for an eight. And soldier is in play. And anything else you wish to do, Rusty? You can play it conservatively. Uh, um, I'll use my armsman, so armsman. I need uh, double and or fails 11. would be bad. Uh, uh, armsman's going to be a ten. Uh, two. Yeah. Uh, nope. No, but fail. it's not doubles and fail. And uh, you can not use doubles. up to all your skills, Rusty. Would you like to also use? Uh, I think it's berserker. Berserker, and, sure. Give me a ten. Okay, we got Berserker Berserkers and play. Soldier. Now, Berserker and Soldier is in play. You may immediately cash them and bring the number of enemies down to six, if you would like, Rusty. I'll do that. Okay, that probably is prudent. We're finding out that... Good job. Uh, Rusty kills one right off the bat. Rusty as a soldier has stepped up. Now, how did you kill that one guy with Berserker and Soldier, Rusty? Oh, uh, simply uh, did him in with a sword swipe. Sword swipe is simple and effective. I move on. Do you have any other skills? You got one more, I believe, don't you, or not? There's those three. It's it's no. uh it's one of the pink ones. It's champion. Champion. You can put champion in play. It may not help you that much. There is magic that can what turn kind of roll other would that skills. Be? <laughs> uh, it's uh it's going to be just affinity, a ten roll, uh, Fred. Let me move the yeah, die over to Conrad. Go ahead, Conrad. Yeah, I think Conrad because it's it's a because it's a pink specialty. I don't think it's going to be an immediate. Help. It probably would need to be combined with other things more effectively. And uh, uh, Conrad, uh, scholar, looking for the eight. Okay. Uh, roll the eleven. That's a success. Let me let me get my uh, writing tool here and mark that. And Mystic, scholar is looking in play. for the ten. And that's a fail, but it is not a doubles. And that's finally, right. a sorcerer looking for a 10. 
And that, now that is, is a oh, 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 oh. So I will use. Put a glory pip into that. I will use a three. glory pip to avoid. To avoid the, the harm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And anything else you'd like to put back into play? You got um, conjurer, I believe. Yeah, let me try that as well. So two dice looking for the conjurer. For ten. Ten, yep. Okay, Ooh, he does it this time. Okay. So two in play. More of a conjurer. Two in play, than a but conjurer is a specialist skill. You, it's not a professional skill. It will not combine with scholar to okay. do it to do a damage. You should have done mystic. It may. Uh, yeah, they missed that roll. He might have. Uh, he missed this mystic. It might oh. come in play later. Although you usually need uh, a lot more specialist <laughs> skills in order to kill more than just a onesie twosie. I'm going to go over to Fred. Fred, what's his first skill you want to put? All right, in so play? he's got conjure in play. If I get sorcerer into play, will that do the the, the magic there, or making it well, happen? You can look up and uh, on uh, on advanced actions in order to kill twenty people at once. I think it's up by fifteen. Well, because he, he picked conjure, he said he need another specialty in play, right? If you get armsman, conjurer, and any acclaim, you could defeat a score of mortal opponents. Now that's not going to help you because any acclaim, you're, you're, the only way you could get that was with magic. So what you could possibly do is you could, let's see if we can get a plus one for the entire group on their rolls here. Now if I go up to, I think it's five. Yeah, at, if I get tactician into play, will that get the, get the next let's thing? Let's take a look, Fred, and see what you're going to need here. I'm, I'm looking for the... The role, I probably should go to my uh, my quick sheet. I think my my quick looks are going to be a little bit more effective for me on this. And if any, I look at any blue scout spy or armsman would get combined with the scholar from Conrad would kill one also. Uh, yes, that is correct. Uh, if if you want to get the plus one for the party, it mm -hmm. is uh, auto harm. Let's see, uh, cancel the group plus one prone. And uh, group, group disarm, boy, we're lucky we uh, we lucky right. we're lucky we get to edit this stuff. Well, Here yeah. it is, ingenious with headman, tactician, in any profession, the group gets plus one to their rolls for a die four rounds. Ingenious tactics. So I just got to get a tactician roll right now because uh, we've got conjure. You would have to get the tactician in play. That is correct, uh, Fred. And then okay. the headman would probably we'd have to turn the conjurer into a headman, and that would take a, a safe. Uh, uh, safe limits roll of magic. So that's and like what a sixteen? No, no, no. It's not necessarily how high the roll is. It's the result in case you fail with doubles, and uh, it would oh. be over in Rusty's because so this, Rusty this is really good at magic. tactician's a ten. I need a ten or better to get tactician right now. That is correct. Go ahead and start with that. Okay. Hey. Thirteen. Fred has gotten tactician in play. It does give you some extra options in case uh, you guys take. Now I need to. I need to go on down to headman then right uh d do you have headman as an yeah, option yeah I, yeah it arrows down I don't, I don't think so fred let me uh that no, might have changed it's, it's yeah it's no, headman is, tactician. Okay. yeah you would have to have the skill of tactician before you have, have headman so have right now as a scout a tactician and it goes over to headman correct but you're not a tactician you're a scout yeah. Next next level, you can become. Oh, a I, I got to be that level. Okay. Yes. Roll and okay. so you're an armsman tactician and a spy, but just because the arrow okay. is connected, so yep. I will go for a. Did you do armsman, your armsman? Yet? This one, yes. A bit armsman. Did you do a scout? Give me a ten. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. Armsman's in play, so, Fred. Oh, I have a scholar and I have an armsman. Would you like to kill one guy? Um. Yeah. Okay, let's kill one guy. One let's guy, bring him uh, to five. So we sh we have conjure and tactician floating out there for whatever they'll be used for. Yes, that they both could be used to create a, a modifier to the die roll. Both could be used to possibly kill the whole party in front of you of enemies, but uh, more than likely you're just going to nickel and dime this down yeah. one by one at your level. I'm going to go over to Greg. Greg, oh, uh, did he you still do your scout, scout and spy? Yeah, you should do your be... scout. Oh, I should I would go think, for right? scout too, right? Okay, let's yeah. do, let's do. And spy, because nobody else the can scout. do spy. Scout is good. Did you want to do your spy, Fred? Yeah, let me let me go for it. And got it. Hey, I made all of them this time. Wow. Fred, if you combine scout and spy, you kill another person. Would you like to do that? Yeah, sure. Okay, now how did you use scout and spy to kill a person, Fred? Describe uh, your backstab. 
I used uh, I used Scout to 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 find a a route through the battle to him, and then Spy to sneak up and stab him in the in the vital spot. That's all it takes. There's four guys left. I'm over to Greg. All right. Um, first off, let's get Mariner into play. Okay. Mariner. Okay. Succeed on that. That's doubles. Is that bad? Uh, no, uh, it's it only if you're unhar or un unnerved with doubles everywhere okay. count. You're looking for fail with doubles is the only bad thing. Right. Okay. So then um, let's try to get thief into play also. Okay. You thief and quite successful at that. Now uh, mariner and thief are in play. You can uh, use both of them to kill another uh, um, bandit if you uh, like, or you can continue to roll and decide yeah, let, uh, let later. Get, let me see if I can get berserker into play as well. Go ahead. And a 10. I did because yes. that's easier. I could leave Thief there, but use Mariner and Berserker to just go Viking on these guys and use my axe to split a skull. Sounds good. One and, more guy went down. I think we're at three. I will try to uh, use Delver as well okay. uh, because they can, and I'm not sure what that. Did I just, oh, get you just did it? You just did it at 10. Delver is in play. Now you can use magic to convert some of these uh, specialist skills into professional skills, but again, you would first have to get past the the initial first axe and get over your hesitancy to use uh, um, magic. Rusty is past that, at least with one law. And did you roll all, all your skills so far, Greg? I think that I, was four yes, rolls did. for you, right? Yeah. And we are left with a, a thief, which is the only professional skill in play, and three specialist skills. I move around to Rusty. Back to you, sir. Well, we're setting up the magic user to do something, then. Oh, you're okay. going to have these final three guys killed by the time it gets to you, Fred, I I'll, bet. Go I'll ahead. Oh, my soldier. A nine, success. And I got I'll a soldier a and a thief, Rusty. Soldier and thief and get rid of another one. How did you kill that one guy with soldier and thief? Uh, instead of just a frontal assault, because I used the thief, I also, uh, I basically hit them from behind when they were trying to react to Fred. So. They were uh, they were all facing Fred and you saw your opportunity. Stab, stab. I, it, uh, I feel after, bad about it, but that's what I did. <laughs> after Soldier, well, you don't have to put him down. I mean, you can leave him bleeding and running. Uh, and after First, Soldier, what would you like to try, Rusty? We'll try uh, Berserker. Go ahead. Two dice for a 10. Nope, pale, and we'll try Armsman. Okay, two dice for a 10. Armsman is in arm. play. And any other skills, Rusty? Go for nope. champion. Why not? Because we don't, we none of us understand the greater specialists, and we already have several specialists. We can't Most use. of those are going to affect uh, creatures with immunities, like demons or beasts yeah. or undead. So I would think right now, uh, Rusty is right. Why risk the uh, roll and fail? Uh, save okay. that. Uh, save that ten for something else, Conrad. Your play, sir, with Scholar, I think, right? Uh, uh, yes, I'm Scholar. Let's see. Uh, you could try to look, break some laws. Looking for the eight on. Um, looking for the eight for Scholar. Eleven is a success. Now, Scholar Armsman, and Scholar is played. Scholar and Armsman together would. Uh, would kill another guy. Would kill a man. So I, uh, I will, I will uh, use the uh, the weapons to threaten, and one of the men will run away. I think that would probably be the best wing. There's only one guy left, Conrad. I'll let you make a roll, any roll of eight, to just intimidate that guy, and he's going to flee out the entrance. Two dice and for an eight. Two dice. Looking for the eight. Got the nine. And this last guy is going to flee from the area. The skills that are left in play won't matter, but let's get a reward for you guys. Now, I got a little table to roll reward, but I also have probably just some magic items and I'll throw one out here. How about if we give this one? It's not a great magic item. It's a talisman. The magic items are charms, talismans, or relics. Relics are the ones you fear. Talisman are the ones that are useful. And charms are the ones that usually are used once, and then something bad may happen. The talisman of the socks uh, of the elves, uh, you could even give it back to the elves. They might um, uh, thank you for that. But it's plus one to your task rolls back. if used outside. It's minus one to your task rolls if used inside. And once you put them on, they're hard to get off. So why don't you stick those in your sack for the moment, Conrad? And then okay. when you ever decide to put them on, we'll uh, find an opportunity. Now, as now you Fred, Fred's the scout. 
Fred is the yeah. scout. Let's let me pass them to the scout. Although okay. Uh, okay. better so to I probably have, not wear them. It's I probably have. a it's probably the sort of thing where um, maybe yeah, we don't, trade. Yeah, don't put them on yet. And yeah, it might be something you want to trade or yeah, okay. uh, enri enrich your party with. And uh, if, if the time may come when you think, well, I'll just go ahead and take it. A minus one for the few times I'm in the underworld, a plus one for all the adventures outside. It may be worth it to me or for an NPC later on. The From this direction, there's a smell of princely spices. Did you want to uh, continue or did you want to backtrack somehow? Oh, and I also avoided the smell of the, of the hail wind, uh, uh, Conrad. Which direction would you like to go to from there? Um, the, this princely spice suggests the wise man. So let's walk. Let's make a way to that. Okay. So when you enter the area of the princely spices, you see in the middle here, sort of a, a great, a great creature of magical nature. It's not the sort of thing you want to approach. It's probably something uh -huh. that you're, uh, you think to yourself, wow, I probably want to avoid this thing at the moment. I'm going to use a frog. To make a point, there's just the one. Just the one, yeah. We've heard that before. But you definitely think that a frog that sort of has a the elements of regalia about it is a uh, is not something natural. It's something supernatural in there. Well, it, and we're it, looking it, for the it, it, wel it welcomes you. It says. Uh, it says, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, this is this is my realm, and I do not like intruders. So, how do you respond to that? Um, but we're we're not intruders. We're here to we're here to visit the old wise man. Yes, I'm not the old wise man. He says I can tell you where the old wise man is, or maybe I can answer a question uh, that you that you have. Um, but in order to do so, you'd have to do a, a service for me and get rid of the undead. That uh, they're just beasts. I don't know why they want to be in this area. It'd be much better if uh, if people would just leave me alone. So he says, if you go to the smell of decay down here and kill the undead down there, I will answer your question and tell you where the wise man is. Or maybe you'll just ask me your your question directly. Um, I, I, let's, I, I agree. We'll go do, we'll go kill the undead. Okay. Let me yep. see if I can find some that wet caverns as an option. I bet I have some dark lair or some undead here that I can borrow from. Here's your basic undead, basic if undead. If nothing else, great. that, that passage lets us bypass the uh, smell of, uh, pricely spice, princely yeah. spice. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be down there anyway. If we wanted to go on without dealing with the undead. Yeah, in other words, we could just but we could just continue on up into the other go. passages, right. assuming that he's not up but, north, right? Assuming, yeah, he but, just doesn't. Of course, move knowing around Red, it's, it's big, big person's up north, so yeah. He's probably worth he's probably worth having as an ally, though. Obviously. Okay. But knowing Red, it's over here where we didn't go. <laughs> this <morning. laughs> he's he's right here next to the entrance sitting sitting quietly in his uh, in his uh, uh with his humidifier going now the smell of the decay here is going to be a couple of undead that you would need to fight the option is yours on whether or not you want to do that goblins is that worth keeping on the board no i probably put that on by accident and uh if you wish to go fight the undead they're right there now here's the problem with the undead they start with the immunity of undead they're not mortal the first thing you would need to do is you'd need to eliminate that um, that uh, problem. And to do so, if I look at my actions here, to eliminate the undead, you can do that as I scan down. Um, canceling, uh, canceling the undead. I'm uh, making an undead mortal for one round takes Marinus, Mariner and any specialist uh, undead for one round uh, and it, it automatically causes harm, though, to make them the undead mortal without instantly causing harm. There is a uh, make the undead mortal and undead mortal for a die four rounds. You would need Delver, Headman and any specialist. Now, because you don't have Headman, the only way you could get that would you you would have to introduce another specialist talent into play like champion. And then you use magic to morph the champion abilities into Headman. 
And that takes uh, safe limits. So right now, Rusty is the only one could probably attempt that. So the if you try to defeat the two undead, you have to make each of them mortal. And then after you make them mortal, then any two professional skills can bring them down if you follow that. Right. And it was <laughs> it was uh, Berserker. Is that what you said was the skill? The, to make them mortal with combat harm, it's going to be Mariner and any specialist. OK. So the mar and the mariner, uh, we do have a mariner with us. So we yeah. do, and you do have any specialist easily. I could try mariner and rogue, mariner and delver, and then somebody else could try to kill him. We can always try magic too. We could try to like. You can always use magic. Something. The uh, the the harms are a little bit easier when they're just combat. All right, now well, what so do you, what do you say, Connor? Should we try two of us together to try to bless the um, you know uh, the spear of Rusty and make it a magic item? I would see. It would make some better sense to to bless the uh, the Delverness or the Marinerness of Greg, right? Yeah, yeah. Make him a supermarine. <laughs> okay. Wait, make him you would only have to roll the seven. I will start with Conrad, since Conrad sort of has the minor quest of talking to the um, the smell of the princely spice uh, demon. I'll get the scholar into play, which is two die eight, looking for. Go the ahead. Eight, right? He did the 14. scholar into play is good. Fourteen. So let me grab my pen here. And Scholar is in play. And uh, you also have Conjurer, and you also have Sorcerer, and you do need yeah, we, any we specialist. Need a specialist. Any specialist so let me, in play. Let me, bring the, let me bring the Conjurer into play on a roll of a 10. On a 10, correct. And that was a okay. miss, but not, how about but not I, doubles. Uh, how about now the Mystic on a roll of a 10 as well. Mystic is a 10. That mystic a is success. play. That's when we so wanted. now you have a Scholar and a Mystic. If you had a Mortal opponent, you could kill the Mortal opponent. I believe you have Sorcerer as well on a 10. Um, sorcerer on 10. Nope. Seven is a miss. No specialists in play. Right now, your your actions cannot come together. Let me look very quick to make sure that there isn't an ability for you to get a plus one. If anyone wants to get a plus one to their dice rolls, <coughs> tap here to select the iron. Wow. Uh, roll 20 sort of went crazy on me. Can I close it? Wow. All right. Um, to get a plus one on your dice rolls, plus one to your dice, you need Berserker and Spy, and you get Battle Cry, and that gives you a plus one to your rolls for okay. a die four well, round. I'll get you that Spy here in a minute. I'll try. If it's needed. If you're going to use magic, you probably want to have Battle Cry, and you probably want to have your, uh, you know, your your tactics in play. But uh, let's move over to Fred. Fred, which uh, which skill would you like to try well, to I put in play first? I guess I'll try that Spy first and see if we can get that plus one. Okay, go ahead. Hey, all right. And now I'm going to try to get Scout and Armsman in the play. Fred's dice are on fire. All right, Scout first. Oh, oh, uh -oh. And it's doubles. Uh-oh. It's failing doubles. I'm going to spend a pip real quick here. It's a seven now. Okay, and let's go on to your other abilities. You have Armsman, I believe, uh, Fred. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to try Armsman here real quick. Just get that into play. Armsman is in play. All right, so I'm going to take the pip off my character sheet. Where did my character sheet go? You That's... also have Tactician because we need a we need a we specialist. We need specialist. Mm -hmm. Oh, on okay. a roll of a 10 for more specialist. Okay, well, let's, uh, let me go for that then. Um, oh, yes. Good, good roll. Just the one. Only nice roll, Fred. <clears throat> now, there's nothing right now that can go together because we need the Mariner and the Delver. Or I should say, forgive me, we need a Mariner and any specialist. And uh, once the Mariner is rolled by Greg, you can make one of the undead mortal, and then you have Spy and Armsman, for instance, to immediately bring it down. I'm going to go over to Greg. Greg, give me your roll of, uh, let's start Oh, I thought with it used to Spy with, to make the plus one. Um, Spy and Berserker, I believe, was the plus one for Battle Didn't Cry. we have Berserker in play? Uh, not yet. No. Not yet. Not yet, okay. I will try, though. Now, so, Greg, did you want to put Berserker in play on a 10 and get that plus one with Battle Cry first? Or did you want to, uh, um, for a die four turns, or did you want to go right for the Mariner and see if we can make a monster vulnerable and then kill it instantly? Um, yeah, let's do that first. Okay. So, an eight. There, okay. Made you that, put Berserker so. in play, is that correct? No, you put that's, Mariner that's in play. For Mariner. Right? Got Mariner in play. We have Mariner and a specialist now. Um, yes. Practitioner. 
Yes. Would you like to make one of the undead vulnerable? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, yes, I would. The undead is vulnerable with Tactician and Mariner. How did you make the undead vulnerable? What was the special? Uh, what was your special tactics here? Enlighten uh, us, wise one. We're going to use um, pitch to burn the burn the bodies, right? Just stabbing them doesn't S do anything. Classic, yeah. classic dungeon craft here, of course. Now, one of the two undead is mortal. By using Spy and Armsman, you can kill it immediately. By using Mystic and Armsman, you can kill it immediately. Any two professional skills, Scholar and Mystic, you could kill it immediately. What would you like to do to kill it? Has, has Rusty yeah. rolled? Uh, Rusty no, would yet. come next. Don't, don't use uh, Spy because we could use it for a plus one for you. Uh, don't use later. Berserker then either. So Armsman and Scholar fall well, out, uh, Greg. He didn't, we didn't get Berserker, did we? He uh, did burn yeah, like, I'd try that next. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me take that off, Rusty. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. But, um, like, I believe we have Scholar and yes, Armsman, we have which we Scholar don't Scholar and Armsman, one of the two undead goes down on yeah. fire. You, yep. you brutal person. What did the undead ever do to you? I think that goes without saying. <laughs> All right. Then, now I'll try to get... Uh, Berserker. Let's just okay. see. So 10. Let's see if we can get a 10. Berserker. 13. Uh, we did that. So now we can do a, the battle cry with, um, what is it? Spot. Now the battle cry will affect one person. Do you want to leave that spine oh. Berserker on the board and let somebody else grab it? Yeah. Or we'll pass, it on to, pass it on to... The, to, to That's to, fine. Now, do you have any other skills that you would put in play as a yeah. uh, uh, Mariner? Yeah. Let's go ahead and try to do Delver also. Okay. Yeah. A roll of 10. Uh, uh -oh. That's uh, uh -oh. that is doubles with uh, uh with the a uh, harm. Thank now, did you have a pip? I do have one. Pip. I have a glory pip, so I might as well use it now. Sooner or later, do we? That's fine. Uh, you fly. are allowed to see what the combat harm is before you use the pip. Would I, you like to roll two dice? Sure. Let's see what the combat harm is. A twelve. A twelve. Now, a twelve would be that you would be felled unconscious. By an enemy blow, yeah, so you would be, be knocked out. And since the fact you're our only mariner, yes, you're our only mariner. <laughs> well, in truth, he's not the only mariner because you guys can use first axe to turn, for instance, spy in the mariner. If you okay. want to also with magic. magic, yes, with magic. Magic has a lot hers. So, did you want to spend that pip, uh, Greg, or did you want to be felled unconscious? Um, I might as well just, just yeah, uh, I'll use it now. Okay, you're staying in the battle. And I think we're moving over to Rusty now. Rusty. Uh, he has a rogue roll if he wants to take it. Okay, sure. And roll of 10 if you wish, uh, Greg. It's up to you, Greg. Yeah, might as well. What could happen? 12. Rogue is now in play. Rogue is a specialist skill, so that certainly would be uh, the uh, Mariner and Rogue would bring the, the uh, uh, undead mortal. Now, Rusty, you have already done first acts in one of the categories, you could do a second act and change Mystic into Mariner. Before you do that, you could ply your Berserker and Spy to get the plus one bonus. So you would go plus one with uh, Spy and Berserker for the battle cry, and then you would need a roll of a seven on two dice in order to change Mystic into Mariner. Is it worth it to you or not? Um, it's not worth it until the so the one round is one round for all four of us or is it one round just for me um it's a die four rounds and a, a round would go all the way around the table so it'd be four okay. if you take the plus one you would get it for up to four that's all your rolls. next four turns i okay but i'm talking about for making him making the undead uh, mortal yes for making him mortal it's only going to be through conrad fred and greg Okay. We each get um, one shot. So you'd each get one shot, which probably would, would be good. Uh, I'm assuming, so, though, Rusty, that you're going to kill this outright. If you if you were, for instance, to try the Mystic right now, uh, I should say try the Magic right now, uh, by rolling the seven using the Spy and Berserker, you would have Mariner and Rogue. It would be mortal, and yet you still haven't made your skill rolls yet, correct? Yes. Okay. So we'll do that. Okay. Let's see if you can make a, a seven, Rusty, on two dice. This is where the game can get very ugly or very good. <laughs> spend a pip, spend a pip. And I, and I apply a pip to make it a seven. I okay. made my seven. 
we now have uh, the mystic has turned into a mariner. And as a referee uh, or as a dungeon a game master, I know that uh, watching the pips go away is is I, I know that more harm is coming to the party later. OK, you now have a mariner. Would you like to use mariner and rogue to uh, uh, make the undead mortal rusty? Yes. OK, how did you make the undead mortal rusty? Um, well, I, the Rusty, uh, why don't you put your other skill into play before you do that? Before then, I make him mortal? Yeah, because yeah, he, if, you, if you fail in your main skill, then you won't be able to kill well, it. Well, right? then it will come over to you, though, Conrad. Yeah, but, yeah. But okay, you're right. I'll you, wait. You, you, can, you can leave them on the board, Rusty. The disadvantage, can do them, right? the disadvantage for that is um, as we – in fact, we should have – I think I, I cheated myself as a, as a game master. As soon as the Delver and the Mariner are used, or in this case, I should say, as soon as the Rogue and the Mariner are used – um, you have to suffer combat harm, and certain combat harms could make um, skills disappear from play, Conrad. I see. So, well, well what, what I'm saying is, if he misses his next roll, then he's probably he, not going to kill it this round. He does have the plus one. You're right. Yeah. Go ahead and make a I roll do have there. The plus Rusty. one, and I have soldier, berserker, and armsman to to use. Let's try the soldier on a seven, please. Well, okay. Let's see. As in, yeah, soldier plus one. With the two, battle two, cry. Two. Rolling the dice and nothing's happening. Hmm. Well, we'll see it right give after it, the six. Give it a second. There we oh, go. There there it goes. Nine. Uh, so soldiers made. Soldiers in play. Let's do, uh, let's bring Berserker back. With a nine. Okay. Soldiers, soldiers, somebody berserker's somebody else. back. So I can now... Institute. You can now combine the two. so And when, I can also kill him. So. Yes. Well, the first step we should do to make sure that we're, uh, we're playing the game as it was written is, is that you have to make it. him you mortal. Just, yeah. How do you make him mortal? And then you need a combat harm roll. Well, as a mariner, you, you, uh, made, you <laughs> used this phosphorus from the seawater. And the mariner, but, well, for the mariner, I'm, I'm going to use the, uh, the cleansing a uh, healthfulness of water obviously makes the undead into into more mortal. It Cures sounds good, especially when combined with the rogue and getting him to drink it or getting him to splash. So now right. roll me two dice for harm, Rusty. Auto harm. I two dice Greg. for harm. Greg could have had a ten. nice harm. A 10. Uh, Rusty, when you roll that 10, you're stunned. All skills in play that match your character are immediately canceled. Oh, that's oh. no good. All further skill and magic attempts by you are penalized by one going forward. So okay. we lo we lose he your should, berserker. You'll have to be killed by somebody else. You lose your soldier. And in order to eliminate that stun, I got to look on my character sheet here. And when I look at my quick uh, look of uh, actions, uh, Rusty, you're going to make you're going to continue to be stunned until somebody rallies you. And you can cancel your own stun with Berserker and Scholar if it comes around to you again in the game. But to cancel somebody else canceling your stun uh, is Scholar and Thief. So right now we need a Scholar and Thief role. Which would be Conrad. And we move uh, over to Conrad. Scholar, looking for the eight on two dice. Can I find my mouse first? Uh, nine, that's a success. Scholar's on the board. And then I'm going to roll for Mystic. That's two dice looking for the 10. That's a 13. Mystic's and that should, be an, that should be enough to kill it, right? Scholar and Mystic. You should kill it. If you kill it, it ends the battle. We're going to have to try to make final rolls to get uh, Rusty unstunned. There it yeah. is. Okay. And uh, I believe we need I believe we need Scholar. And what was the other one that we needed in order to make Rusty unstunned? Uh, un Scholar and thief, yeah. Or for Rusty thief. himself to make him unstunned, he's going to need cancel your own stun. He's going to need berserker and scholar. Scholar is the uh, key uh, key thing that's missing here. But can I use magic to put scholar back on the board? You can, but we it's the only thing you can do at first act is you first have to put something else in play that's a professional skill, and then and then morph it into what okay. you need. So let me put sorcerer up. Okay, uh, sorcerer is not going to cut it. Too complicated. Do you have uh, another? Uh, do you have no, another professional three, right? skill? Mystic. I have, well, I have I have a uh, 
mystic, sorcerer, and conjurer. Did you did you roll your mystic yet? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you, yes, I did. So oh. I succeeded yes. in mystic. I think we're I passing the thread is what we're doing. Okay, fair enough. Okay, can I yeah. use magic to turn spy in the scholar? First, put something in play, Fred. So we need, we need to get your thief. In play. Go ahead get and put the thief uh, in play. I don't I'm going to put deep into play right put now. Your main, put your main skill in play yeah. uh, first. Scout in the play. Scout on two yeah. dice. Give me an eight. Of course, oh, this uh, is Fred. Okay. He's killing it. He's killing it on the dice. So. Okay, so now uh, can I use Now you can six? turn scout into scholar on a roll of an eight, Fred. On a roll of an eight. Yes. Do you have a glory pip in case you fail this with doubles? Yeah, one last one left. Okay, that's what you do. All righty, let's give it a shot here. Woo, just did it. Now, Fred, you have to break the laws of the universe. We all know that a scout is not a scholar and a scholar is not a scout. How did you turn scout into scholar magically? Well, you know, I've, I've traveled around and uh, I've, 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 I've hung out with the elves a couple of times. You know, I've, I've picked up some, some of this, this, this scholar stuff. You know, I've heard some stories. Magic, Fred. How do you do it with magic? How do you break the laws of the universe to do that? What did you do to your own mind to make a scout turn into scholar? Uh, I concentrated heavily on, 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 a, on a fairy tale story I've heard, you know, and just, 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 just. And you, just and for the moment, you have some, people. you have some fairy blood that makes your brain a little bit more scholarly. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Perfect. And now, Fred, if we get thief in play, uh, we can cure Rusty. And that would be pass over to Greg, I think. You've done your main share. And uh, yeah. Fred, you should check law four as first act. You've you've committed the uh, ultimate sin of changing the way people oh, think man. in the world. Those guys and uh, Greg, uh, thief roll of a 10 for you. All right, let's, yep, let's just try that. Nine, oh, so close. Oh, well, so close. Didn't make it. But Rusty needs scholar and... Always For checking sure, these sure. tables to right. learn. Rusty scholar. needed scholar and berserker. Do you are I, you can, can you get berserker into play? Yes, let's, let's try berserker two then. Two dice for a ten. There we go. And Step. then when we pass it off to Rusty, Rusty can use the scholar and the berserker himself and cancel his own stunned. Everyone follow how that worked? Yes. Okay. It is a it is a building block system as we used to joke. The, the undead are both killed. I think that deserves Thanks, some treasure. Hey, are we worried about advancement too? Can we check some of the things on our character sheet? Like, you most uh, definitely can, like, uh, although all I'm really doing is I'm using the simplified ad, uh, advancement. Right. Oh, uh, yeah. This is apropos, I think, to Greg, but not necessarily so. Uh, Greg, there is a talisman, the Mariner's Eye Patch, that bestows that skill. Now, you already have that skill, but you could hand that... Uh, that talisman to anyone, and by wearing that eye patch, they will gain the mariner skill. Who would okay. you like to give it to? Um, yeah, let's hand it to um, Rusty, our uh, our soldier, so he can do something more useful. Now, when Rusty gets it, his skills already overlap a little bit. Or oh, that you're, you're right, as a right. soldier. Well, right. Now, just give it to the scholar. Yeah, give so it to Conrad. Make- or who, who, yeah, because yeah. he only has really two, and then he's got to go down to the to, to conjurer and sorcerer. Yes. Yeah, let's go to the opposite end of the table then. I'll hand it to, to Conrad. So Conrad could um, – Yeah, Conrad, I know the a, scholar a talisman that you're going to put that. on. Basics. <laughs> it's going to give you the skill of Mariner. I take it you put it on, correct? Uh, yes. I have to talk like a right. pirate wear it, though. That's mandatory. And, and it I'm couldn't possibly have any negative effects. Don't worry about it, Conrad. Uh, the negative effects would only be revealed later as I as, as get the you dice a roll happens. Don't, it. Don't worry. I, in, unlike uh, Outlands, Rusty, though, the magic items are a bit more prolific uh, because it's expected at this sort of level of play, and they're not as automatically uh, uh, have a duality. It's a body so, hall like Andy. Yes, it's a little bit more Monty Hall. Now, there are limitations on some of these things. Uh, uh, most of them will give plus one at best. Most will bestow one skill at best. I doubt you're going to find like an eye patch that gives you every skill. 
Uh, you might in somebody else's game. You probably won't in mine. From here, Rusty, where would you want to mo move? You've done the deed of the of the um, the demon of spice, if you oh, wish. Oh, well, we definitely go back to the demon of spice and find out where the wise guy is. Okay, so the demon of spice says, "I can tell you where the wise man of this underworld is, if you wish." Is that the question you'd like? We wish. Um. I think so. Yeah. Okay. He sort of says, do you realize you could have asked me probably the same question you would ask of the wise men, but. Yes, well, I'm not that clever. <laughs> he says there's this person of, who has an air of jaunty confidence, and he thinks that that person probably, he, he believes the thing is a jinn of some sort who probably can answer these sort of mystical questions about the air if you wish to head that way. Plus the deal we the deal we made was to kill the undead, Cur to, yeah. and he would just reveal it to us, right? We were he's not our servant; he's our. He's and the, our, the, the know, deal is the, the deal with the demon is is the deal you make with the demons. He will agree right. to allow you to go down the corridor past his domain to the jaunt to the air of the jaunty servant, if you wish. We and I'll want over that, right? to Conrad. Conrad, did you want to move to the uh, jaunty air of confidence? That's where we're supposed to be going, right? Okay. Now, as you leave, the demon sort of says, of course, I made a deal so you could get to the air of uh, jaunty confidence. I didn't say you could get out from the... <laughs> Why is he going to block us on the way out? Oh, we yeah. might have a demon fight on the way out unless we use some uh, magic to get around it. And... The uh, the rat guy, uh, Conrad, since you love his jokes, you've laughed at both of them. What has an eye but cannot see? What, what has an eye but cannot but That's cannot see? A potato, right? <laughs> now you got him laughing. No, he says a hurricane. Ah, that's with the eye of the storm, right? And uh, the air of jaunty confidence. So you meet the guy that's the air of jaunty, jaunty confidence. It's an answer man of the underworld. If the players ask, uh, uh, you, you ask your question. You obviously have taken a, uh, a, uh, a hard road to get here to talk to me. Uh, so we, we were, I, was, I think I was out when we, when we got the, me the message to do the um, wise man, but it was, he could tell us where the, we're in the underworld to find the uh, the person we wanted to rescue, correct? The mayor's son. Yeah, the mayor's son. David, Yes, right? he could tell you where to find the mayor's son. Yeah, basically, I think you, if, if I remember correctly, the term was it would light it up like a red spot. Sure, he'll he'll light it up like a red spot. The the. Uh, the answer man of the underworld with his jaunty confidence, he looks like he's some sort of larger than life character. He's certainly bigger Yikes. than you. He's probably some sort of gin, um, a personification of metal. And he says that, uh, hmm, do you want to know where the mayor's son is or did you want to solve your quest? Because I don't think you realize what you're asking yet. It's a 42 sort of thing. So did you want to know how to solve your quest of finding the mayor's son? Or did you want to find the mayor's son? I suppose we want to know how to solve the quest, which is how to find Probably the Probably a son. better answer. And he says that the mayor's son has been with you all along. Yikes. Care to guess who that is, Conrad? It's Fred. <laughs> No, it's not the rat knight. <laughs> the rat knight. The rat knight is the mayor's son. And he says the rat knight was cursed by a creature right outside of the town of Summer Breeze. I'm going to put you back on that map briefly just so we can all see that. And right outside of Summer Breeze, you can find the dryad that cursed the sun and turned him into the rat knight. Okay, so we don't need to go into the secret underworld. At least you only not needed to go. You, you only needed to go into the dungeon of secrets if it, it, in order to figure out uh, where 
uh, the right. uh, the dryad is. The so dryad. In, in essence, you did, you know, and uh, uh, the only other thing that could have happened from this is the fact that all of uh, all of the rat knights uh, riddles mm -hmm. are related to what? Water, the sea, the water and the sea. Uh, what do turtles, eggs and beaches all have? Shells. Shells. So right outside a summer breeze on the beach, you need to defeat the dryad in order to win. But we have one little hiccup here, and that hiccup is the fact that how are you going to get out of the answer man's room? You can either fight the demon. Now, fighting the demon is is about the same at this point of fighting the undead. I did not think I made up oh, my, my apologies. I made it a great demon. So not only would you have to eliminate its aspect of demon, but you'd also have to eliminate its aspect of de of great. So that's two things you would have to do. Are you ready to do that, or are you ready to uh, uh, use some magic to move uh, someplace else across the uh, the cosmos here? I'd say let's use the magic first because I, because we're at the point where we're probably going to need some magic later. I would say that Rusty could probably make a safe act and move you to the smell of the hail wind. However, it would be Rusty would have to make a roll of an eight right now. No modifiers. Yikes. Yikes. OK, let's do it. <laughs> Don't put the too pressure nice, on Rusty. too much. No, no take pressure. The good ones. Take the good ones, Rusty. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Rusty, you can check the fact that you have first acts in any of the other uh, six uh, breaking of the law in combination with this one. And Rusty oh, okay. is taking you back to the smell of the hail wind just to uh, sort of fill out our dungeon here. And there's going to be a big black bar that's going to appear as I try to reveal area. And uh, we had the... Uh, the smell of excrement, the smell of wet fur. If you had gone to the smell of the hail wind, you could have found that it connects up here to the north. And if you had gone to uh, uh, the smell of the uh, of the ink, it would not have been the answer man. So you probably passed this underworld in the most expedient way that you could. As we leave it, is there any questions about our uh, shadow of the subterrane? Uh, no. Let's go fight the Dryad. I don't think you're going to like this battle either. All right, when you come up to the coast, the Dryad says that the uh, mayor's son has been teasing her off and on over the years. And uh, she is the Dryad, or, or more of a water nymph, I should say, a koala. And she says she will not remove the curse. But you know from uh, two dice, give me an eight scholar roll, Conrad. Two dice from an eight. Two dice and for the eight. Also, real quick, the mayor never said we had to return his son like in human form <laughs> or anything, did he? Like, Just going to capture the rat knight? <laughs> yeah, like, so here, here you are. Uh, Vito, Vito says that uh, he doesn't think he wants to return to his dad in rat knight form, although it's been quite an adventure. He never had one, and now he's happy about it. Now, Aquala is a, is a, um, a demon beast. And so, in order to fight the demon beast, uh, uh, it will, uh, we're going to uh, we're going to have to uh, uh, kill demon and kill beast in order to uh, make it vulnerable and mortal before we can uh, kill it. And as we go up to Aquala, and she argues with us a little bit that this is you know that she uh, you sh you should not have uh, interfered with any of this. Um, she is going to also bring some of the uh, the ocean folk to. Um, to also um, uh, aid her in this battle. You see what I have as set up as the climax. You're probably not would, gonna like any of this. Would she instead like to have a nice pair of elf slippers? Hmm, you're gonna trade out, she? right? No, she has no interest in that. Oh. All right, David curse will end with the death of the demon. The demon has, starts with an air, uh, with an ear splitting uh, uh, cry that we need to eliminate. So before we can do anything, we need to get Scholar and three other professions just to eliminate her special attack of her ear splitting cry. And she also then, she summons as a boss 70 
70 count them armored mermaids to our protection. Can we just stay out of the water? Well, you could, I mean, but you know, they'll, they'll throw things at you as uh, said, in order to kill her, you're going to have to kill 70 mermaids and you're going to have to eliminate her ear screeching pierce. Let's do that ear screeching pierce first. It's going to be a deafening loud noise with a scholar and three professional skills. I'll allow you as a party to decide who goes first. You'll need Conrad, uh, Conrad Scholar, although you've seen any professional skill can be used with magic to turn it into the Scholar skill. Uh, uh, Fred has already done it once in his life. So do you want to start with uh, uh, Conrad or did you want to um, um, start with somebody else using magic? I have Mariner as well. Yeah, you got Mariner. I think we start with Conrad. And Conrad, give sense. me a scholar skill first. Let's try that one. Don't roll doubles, Conrad. Two, do two dice looking for the eight or better. Can't see it. Is it uh, worth? Seven. It's a seven. Is it worth a glory pip or not? Yeah, it's worth the worth the one. Well, uh, yeah, because we need this. We need at least a scholar to get him in. Otherwise, we risk a second roll. So yeah. I'm use one of my four glory pips, and okay. I've used one before. So now I'm at two. So scholar is in the scholars on the board. Scholar is in the board. Okay, so now um, we need um, uh, three professional skills to cancel her um, ear splitting uh, uh, problems. Let, let me bring Mariner up. Go ahead. Twelve. That's a success. Okay. Now we let need two more. Mystic up. Okay. That's a miss. That's a miss, but not a fail with doubles. Go ahead. And the sorcerer. And that's a success. We don't need sorcerer. You will. May, you may need it later. Uh, in order to beat later, seventy, but, uh, in, yeah. In order to beat seventy Merlin maids, I can tell you, you're going to need sorcerer probably and uh, conjurer if you wish to try it, Conrad. We're going to need um, to take out groups. Actually, swap those out. I think that I meant that I meant conjurer rather than sorcerer. Okay. I just wrote, wrote it down incorrectly. So. Uh, um. Well, Contra is also uh, also. I'm sorry, it does not matter in this case. Um, so yeah, let me roll for let me roll for Sorcerer now. The 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 other one that I don't that I didn't sure. have. Sorry, my my mouse is going wonky. And oh, I can't see you, that. 14. you have the skill of Mariner, right? I do. So therefore, I also have Thief and Berserker. You do. You have Thief, Berserker, and Delver. I and wrote. Mariner. Yeah, he he made the Mariner roll. Yes, yeah, so, so, let me roll Thief. Oh, okay. so that's a ten. T a thief on a ten. Oh, that's a fail. We we definitely look like we need to get you a. Um, uh, um, that's a doubles too. Yeah, we need yeah, to so get you a, a bonus to your die roll since you're rolling so many skills, Conrad. So we want to look toward maybe getting a berserker and spy for you in play to get that plus one. Or so I'm gonna group burn one. one of the. I'm gonna burn a pip. Burn a pip, right? Did you fail. want to see what the result is first? Give me two dice. It may just be a bruise cut. Put the magic socks on. Seven. You could put the magic socks on. It does give you a plus one outdoors, and it it, it may damn you for a, a little while. But a combat harm of a seven. I'm reading a seven. A seven says, uh, suffer a bleeder. Uh, this wound needs to be staunched now or in at the last chance of the battle. So you could, you could staunch the bleeder I'll in battle if you don't I'll want just to use take glory the glory I'll take the glory pip. Uh, you consume the glory pip, and then okay. I will end my turn. All right, and we move over to. Um, uh, did you you did try thief and you did try berserker off the mariner, or is that it for uh, no, you? No, I did. I stopped at uh, at thief. Right? You're, oh, you're I stopped at you're, berserker. I did not attempt thief. Your your prerogative, uh, Fred. Uh, should we put scout in play first? Is your easiest roll? Did I lose you, Fred, or did you uh, did you mute? He's, I'm mute. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, go I'll go for scout first. Go ahead. Two d eight. Woo. Scout is and, in play. And then we'll get Spy because we need Spy to get the plus one, right? Uh, spy and Berserker will get plus one to an individual, correct? Okay, let's... Uh... Two dice for ten. Woo, okay, and I'm going to give the plus one over to who goes next? Uh, Berserker is not in play yet, Fred. Oh, I thought we had the, all the stuff to get the plus one. Somebody, oh, did he missed the roll. I see, okay. And yes. then uh, I A guess I go for you? Armsman. Armsman, sure, go ahead. And got it. Okay, so is, are we at a point where we can kill something yet, or uh, you, you can, can but, get rid of but the we the need, screen. 
We need, yes, you want to get rid of the scream. That's the first thing we need to do as a, as a uh, uh, scholar in three professions. So which three professional skills did you want to apply to this, Fred? A uh, scholar is gone. And then did you want Mariner and Scout? You have two Mariners in the game, so that's probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll use, I'll use Mariner and, and, uh, Scout, and Scout. And yeah. one other. Did you want Armsman, Armsman. or Spy? Armsman. Armsman is probably a better one because uh, Spy is useful in other ways. All right, now we've gotten rid of the Scream. Now we have to fight the 70 Mermaids. So I'm going to look up really quick, and this is probably going to take magic at your level. In order to beat... Uh, advanced, advanced, uh, right here, advanced actions. In order to beat at 20 at a time, these enemies. Now you can beat them at a half D8 at a time, but it would probably still take you 10 rolls by using almost any three uh, specialist skills. But to beat them in a grand spectacle of slaying, uh, slaying them in sets of 20, defeat a score of mortal opponents so we, we need, have one specialist already in play right we do okay, in order so I to can roll for a tactician to get a second one in let me do that we first. actually have two we have conjurer and sorcerer all right so let me go for tactician see if we can get that into play and we'll see if we can kill him off here well he's going to tell us how to kill 20 instead of a d8 yeah, yeah. so you're going to need armsman conjurer and one choice of a claim now, the only way you're going to get a, an acclaim is you're going to have to upsell like a sorcerer. And that's going to probably take a brazen act. Mm. You're going to probably need at least one glory pip in order to make that safe. But again, it, yeah. it may not be a problem. So you're going to have to do that three times probably in this game. Well, you're going to suffer I, some combat I, arm. I will get tactician into play for some. There you go. Let's get the skills can, in play and give yourself it. some options. All right. Yeah, let, let me go for that first here then. And then you nice. go to somebody else and explain to them how they can do sure. it. Sure. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, so. No! Do you have uh, a glory pip? Uh -huh. I have one last glory pip, yes. It's up, well, do you want to roll two dice and see what the uh, the harm yeah, is? Let, let's see Let's see what we did first here. Oh, that's got to be bad. That's a higher number. What is it? Nine. Are we, nine. A, a nine. A nine is you would be knocked prone. You would not be able to take actions for this turn and next turn and your skills that are in play. Um, no way. Which like, uh, I think. Armsman's last one that's in play. No, he, yeah, he so they, they would be gone. Play. Not really any of that's going to happen. But if it happens again, we would treat it as a 12. But I'll miss, be miss my next turn prone? though, right? Did you want to be knocked per turn or um, you'd be out this turn and next turn if you're knocked yeah, prone? Yeah, that might be bad. That now somebody bad, can try so. to lift you up. There are actions you can do that can you can you can lift a, a prone man back into battle. You know what? Yeah, let's just let's just role play and see what happens. We'll do this. So arms <laughs> is out. That's the only one I had that was in play. So you're gonna Left. use the, the glory pip on your roll of a two. Is that no, correct? No, 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 I'm not using it. I'm gonna go ahead and be knocked out down. Okay, you're knocked down, then that ends your turn, Fred. And that and loses the armsman, yeah. Okay, Let's yeah, arm is already spy, out. Spy, we, uh, spy, it's already spy. Out. Oh. spy, yes, thank you, spy. Yeah, that's one. Thank you, Fred. Okay, so, yeah. And uh, I move over to uh, Greg. Uh, Greg, we're looking for uh, uh, rolls of magic. You would first have to pass the basic first acts of magic, doing something like changing a professional skill to a different professional skill. So let's start with uh, let's start with just the basics. Let's get some skills in play. You're a mariner, correct? Yes. Go ahead and give me a mariner roll. Well, mariner first, and no. Okay. Um, let's try thief and berserker. Okay. No. And berserker. And berserker. Okay, we got berserker. Now berserker's not bad because you can get that battle cry. Yeah, battle cry. Plus one. If it's, uh, uh, if, uh, it's if we can get spy back into play. Spy. Now right now, uh, you. Yeah. You can try Delver yeah. and you can try uh, try a Rogue because both of those are couldn't be yeah, used. Because we have two specialties in play right now. Yeah, let's just say Delver right now. Okay, Delver uh, ten. Delver. Delver's in play. And what about Rogue? And let's try Rogue. No for Rogue. Okay. No for Rogue. Now with what you have here, you could try a first act and you could try turning Berserker, sort of a useful profession at the moment, but you could turn Berserker into something else and at least get on the board. So later on, if you need to use magic to turn Sorcerer or Delver into um, a Courtier or Wizard, you could be able to do that in order to kill these things 20 at a time. 
No. Otherwise, be, there's going to be way too many rolls. You're going to have way too many harms over the time. Okay. Uh, could we try using magic to turn Delver into Myrmidon? Or you that? can, but you have not used magic yet with your character, is what I'm getting at. Oh, now oh, you yeah, just broke it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know now what? you could just get your first act on the board by doing something simple, like I'll allow you to make a first act roll of uh, of an of Turn, an eight. Uh, change Zirkin aesthetic. It's only one down. Uh, as, as he he could if he uh, if he wants to move the uh, if he wants to keep the berserker, he should wait till next round and try moving like Mariner to something else. Yeah. Is well, it a pass? Pass yeah. doesn't hurt you guys. Yeah, I'm going to keep the berserker in play so we can okay rusty that. over to you give me a give me your first roll what's what's your what is your easy roll you're a soldier right a soldier let's start with soldier failed oh <laughs> oh but oh arms, rusty, armsman what's your not easy roll rusty armsman champion <laughs> armsman go ahead ten. champion let's see so let's see armsman Made it. Armsman is good. We need armsman as part of our thing. Champion, go ahead. And uh, let's try for a champion. Ten. And and your berserker. No, the berserker's already already yeah, there. Yeah, the berserker's already in play, uh, Fred. Oh, okay. So now I'll, I'll pass because that's all I can do. Now with if I can go back just a little bit, uh, hopefully I'll I'll be able to. There it is. Uh, oh, we need, we need armsman, conjurer, and any acclaim. Now, Rusty, you may try to put the any acclaim in the uh, in the game, or you can work toward trying to get uh, a bonuses for yourself by waiting and passing and letting a turn come around. We need. I need to be said, picked up. Any acclaim, armsman, and, and conjurer. Conjurer to kill twenty, and you need to do that to one, 20? two, three times. Because there's 70 of them, but they'll run away by the time you do it three times. Okay, so I'll try and do an so to do an acclaim, I have to try and increase one of the. Yes, it's like you would have to make sorcerer become necromancer, and you would do that on a roll of a nine. On a roll of a nine, okay. Yes. Let's see. And if you fail, it's fail with magic. He's never make this. Okay. He'll never make this. Taunt, taunt, taunt. Let's do it. Thank you, Conrad. Okay. Ten. Ah, ah. All right, we're going to move Sorcerer to Necromancer with your permission, Rusty. Uh, it on my the chart, it says works. Enchanter. Yeah, the Necromancer is two. Uh, so oh, it's got a line down there, too. Yeah. Oh, sorcerer goes no, to Enchanter. No. All right, back up. Don't confuse yourself, guys. You're turning any specialist skill into an acclaimed skill. Ah, okay. Oh. Now, how did you do that? It doesn't that with have magic? to be in line. Okay. You're using magic. How did it happen, Rusty? Are you breaking the law of the universe because it doesn't have to be in line? In a way, sure. But how did Sorcerer become Necromancer? What did you do to Conrad's mind or your own mind that, that created the power of Necromancer into the into I went the I went dark, dark. You went dark, <laughs> dark. Actually, pretty dark. You know, you had I think your, very evil, dark thoughts. You, you, you corrupted your mind with dark thoughts. Okay, and then I, yes. are, as a, a game master, might start men, uh, writing down notes for the campaign, saying Necromancer is always evil because the way the players want to play it as such. But that's a good thing. So now you've made your role. You used your magic. It did not result in the universe being torn asunder. That's always a good thing. And you now have, uh, you've made all your roles or do we go on to uh, Conrad? Yes, did I you, made all my roles. I'm going over to Conrad. So do we, do we, uh, so you put blue circles. Did we get rid of 20? Conrad's putting the blue circles to show us that we need conjurer, armsman, and necromancer in order to to do it. Did you okay, want to? You, uh, didn't, uh, you didn't. So I can get rid of twenty by just doing those. Then now, right? Correct. Tell me how. How does armsman, oh. conjurer, and necromancer come together to kill twenty of the uh, mermaids? Well, that that's pretty easy. The uh, all the I raised up all the dead creatures in the beach to kill twenty of the armsmen. Ugly. So all the dead crabs and fish are now attacking the mermaids, and ten, uh, 20 of the mermaids say this is not worth our time. There's 50 mermaids left. As I said, at 60, they'll probably break morale. Conrad, what would you like to do, sir? 
Uh, let's get let's get the two basic skills in first. So scholar, okay, um, is a miss, and Mar Mariner is a success. Mariner's a success. Somebody can turn. Ha have you used magic in the game yet, Conrad? I have not. I have not used magic. If you roll me an eight, you can change Mariner into spy. Uh, yeah. Let me let me get let me get that done. Go ahead. Uh, that's a fail. That's a fail. Now, normally when you fail with your first attempts at magic, something bad happens. Like in this case, you're going to spin around in a circle and you're going to knock things over. And so I'm probably going to penalize you at least the point of Mariner that you your magic failed, but you also lost the Mariner. That's a first act uh, um, side effect. And those are described in the game as well. Uh, the Mariner, what are your other, I, the what, Mariner what are your eye other patch roles? or the, uh, in other words, I lost the eye patch or I just lost the Nope, you just lost the, the fact that Mariner is not in play. And okay. so go on to your next skills. You tried Scholar or not um, yet? Yeah, and I, I failed on Scholar. So, uh, so now I'm on to Mystic with a 10. Okay. And that's a success. How about a Conjurer since we know we need Conjurer. Yeah, let me put Conjurer in. That's also a 10. And that's a success. That's a good one to have. How about Sorcerer? And then uh, Sorcerer, also a 10. And that's an 11. That's a success. How about Rogue? Uh, Rogue is a, is a specialist skill. That's also that's a, a 10. 10. That's a success. Nice rolls. Have and you, Delver. Uh, a Del a Delver is already in play. Uh, did you, um, as thief a... Thief and Berserker are the only two thief, left. Thief, yeah. Get Thief in play, sure. Thief, and, thief for two dice. That's a fail. Uh -huh. Uh, okay. one. Hey, a pip would take that an eight. No, it's a yes. 10. If we have that, if we ever get that battle cry, I think that's it for you, Conrad, at the moment. Uh, Berserker. I don't. Oh, so Berserker's in right already. Good. Berserker's yep. already, already in. in. Yep. I, Fred, would you like to make your scout roll, please? Sure. Yep. Scout okay. is in play. Fred, you have not used magic, or have you used magic? I have used magic. I've oh, you have used planes. Fred on a I'm on a roll. Connect the planes to make a berserker into yeah, well, uh, uh, if you if you make right? if you That's make if you make scout into spy, you can oh. get the battle cry of berserker and spy. Oh, I can just make a spy roll. Let's try if we make that spy roll on a ten first. Yeah, then let's see if we do that first here. Uh, nope. Um, now I can go for armsman. I'm going to see if I can make an armsman roll. Give Let's me roll a roll of 10. Play, right? Yep. Okay. A 9, I will use my last pip to make it a 10. To make it. If Are you sure you want to do that? Because there's a <laughs> lot of magic coming into play, and it'd be nice not to have a fail with magic. I, I wouldn't do it, Brent. Well, it's that gives us armsman. It's one of the three we need. It, uh, another yeah, turn will go around. Well, yeah, yeah. All well, right. Part, uh, yeah, I, part, I will miss part it. Of the, uh, part of and the now I'm patience gonna... is very important. Yeah. <laughs> as long as we make one skill in the group, each time we go around, you don't suffer auto harm, and you guys have easily done that. So now, don't. I will turn Sorcerer into Necromancer. You can. It's a roll of a I'm going to connect the planes of existence because I already broke Law 4. And uh, once, and once again, it, we're using the, time. the evil of the necromancer. Jail. And is was, was that your nine roll? Did I that I miss that? Yeah, I think no, it I is. haven't. I haven't made the roll yet. Oh, go ahead and let's see if you make okay. a nine roll to make that sorcerer and a necromancer. Woo! Nice, nice roll, Fred. <laughs> okay, so we have done that. <laughs> and what I'm saying, Fred, is that if we ever miss that uh, that roll with uh, doubles on the magic, is when that glory pip really can save your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, I'll save. It. I, um, have you made all the rolls you can make? I believe uh, uh, tactician on tactician, a ten. Tactician, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's go for that here. Oh, on nope, ten. missed it, but I missed uh -oh, it with doubles. doubles. Uh oh. Roll me your harm, Fred. <laughs> Give me two dice for harm. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Uh, nine again. Uh oh. A, a nine. A nine is you're going to be knocked prone. Is it worth it to you? Take a knee. We're going to lose your skills. And yeah, play. yeah, I'll take it. I'll do it. Uh, uh, hey. Well, that's true. If I do it, it we lose the skills, right? So you, lose. you lose Scout and uh, and Berserker? No, Berserker came in from... Uh, we just lose Scout, Fred. We just lose Scout. Yeah, I'll do it because Scout's okay. not really doing it. Now, right Fred now. is knocked prone. Just to give you options, Greg, we can make Fred unprone. Greg is yeah. prone. What? No, Greg is not a prone, is he? 
No. I'm no, not for- Fred, yeah, Fred went prone. Fred. We can make Fred unprone. You can lift somebody up from prone, cancel an ally prone with Mariner and Thief. Yeah, I could do that myself. Easy, no problem. You do that yourself, uh, and uh, and that does not have any harm if you want to make sure that Fred gets his actions next turn. So let's start with uh, with um, um, your easy roll, Greg. Where would you yes. like to roll? Here's Mariner and 10. So got Mariner. Now Mariner's in play. Just need Thief. Oh, sorry, Fred. Um, <laughs> not Not this round. Um, but let's continue on with now, Greg, use you, the berserker. Greg, you need already. a. Uh, uh, do you have any other uh, uh, blue skills? Any other uh, professional skills you can bring into play? I because one already you, in play. Berserker, no, berserker is already in from last time. Uh, can you, I use magic to how change? about this? How about a magic attempt? Because you need to start using your magic to help uh, others in the game. On a roll of an eight, you can turn berserker into thief, and. By turning Berserker into Thief, you've then entered the Magic Realm as a first act, and then you can try to roll your Berserker yeah. to replace that. Which laws haven't been broken yet? I broke Law 4. There's plenty of laws that haven't been broken of the six. I don't think anyone's done any sort of elemental Magic Law 2. No forces um, have come I've into play. Five, five and six. Five and six. Yeah. Rusty has been five, exploring six, the outer four, planes. So break three. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, right. So... Uh, uh, the choice is yours, Greg. Mystic, for instance, is a professional skill. You can turn it into a spy and get yourself plus one for a die four rounds uh, with Battle Cry, which is where I would be focusing the party first, is get some bonus pips. I've seen lots of sevens that would have been, lots of sevens and nines that would have helped. Yeah. Um, uh, right. So, wait, hold on a second. Let me look down at what's in play first. I was just looking at the laws of sure. magic. So you were saying um, change. Change mystic into spy. Spy. Um, yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and try that then. Um, Break law two or three. One, two, or three. Now, you've. Uh, y- y- yes, you can decide what you want to break with that. Uh, uh, it can be, uh, how do you make a mystic uh, into, a, into a spy, Greg? Um, well, Is it we- mental? Is it just uh, actions? Yeah, yeah. Um, what's what's the? All right, let, yeah. Let me go to the, the, the law page. The first law? law one is force. Law flows through fixed channels in only one direction. Okay. Natural forces are okay. constant and unchanging. Uh, law two: everything has a fixed identity. That might be a good one to break. An exact blend of earth, air, fire, and water. Each of these four basic elements cannot be like another and still be itself. Uh, yeah, so let's do let's break law two. We're just con- convincing um, Conrad's character his uh, use of mystic. He's yeah, just using his mystic powers for you know, his like sight for scouting. Sure. You could turn the mystic by adding sort of a, a cloak of fog around it to make it more of a spy. And yet as a mystic, yeah. he could breathe the uh, the heavier cloud without being affected by it. So that works fine. And you made the roll already. So the magic has taken place. You're on the board now with your first act of magic. Uh, yeah. Check that on your character sheet that you've used a first act of, I think you said law two. Yeah. Did you say? And, uh, or law three, whichever one you mentioned. Now, if you wish... You can leave that berserker spy for like Rusty or Conrad to come along, or you can use it yourself and take a plus one modifier for a die four turns, and then hopefully others will be getting the same berserkers and spies as they go along. I, I've already wasted most of my rolls this round, so let's let somebody else do it. Sounds great. Are there any other rolls that you wish to make as a um, as a mariner? Delver I'm- is in play. Rogue is in play, so those are out. Yeah, uh, so no, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, did whole. you miss the role of thief? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's go over to Rusty. Rusty, would you like to get a plus one modifier? I'd rather Conrad got it. Conrad has not he... used magic yet. He's tried. Uh, <laughs> He's tried. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I'll I'll take the plus one. Okay, uh, take give it, take me it, yeah. uh, give me. Uh, a die, a half die eight for the number of turns this will last in your character. 
<laughs> all right. Well, that's all you need because you could go for armsmen now and try to turn something into armsmen, and you could take out a D8 them because look, we got conjurer and necromancer checked. We just need armsmen. Well, uh, I can just roll armsmen. Oh yeah, you can just roll it. So go for it. And let's uh, roll of a roll of a nine to get armsmen into play, Rusty. Oh geez. Perfect. Wow. Rusty Would you like to kill another brother. twenty of the mermaids, Rusty? I definitely would like to kill another 20 of the mermaids. How did Armsman, Conjurer, and uh, Necromancer come together to kill mermaids? Well, the, of the first 20 that that started the flea when I raised up the crabs and, uh, sea, and the, the Dead Sea creatures, they killed some of those Armsmen who I have now animated as soldiers of righteousness against the mermaids. <laughs> Sounds good. So now Rusty is really becoming an evil necromancer. He, uh, you've used some of the own, uh, the mermaids only uh, to fight the um, other mermaids. Ugly. That's and, right. Uh, some of Aquala's, uh, the Dryad's troops are now uh, uh, combating each other in the battle. Now, uh, there's only one more uh, armsman conjurer and any acclaim in order to defeat the mermaids. And then we're going to go into phase three of this battle to try to kill the. Uh, the dryad herself, the nymph. Um, how? Uh, what skills did you want to put in play, Rusty? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> you can no. try magic right here with plus one. You only need an eight to turn a uh, Delver into Necromancer. Yeah, I think we'll take Delver and turn it into Necromancy. Go ahead. That's a good. A good on a uh, roll of an eight. All right, we got the necromancer. Somebody's dice have been hot, Conrad, and I don't even hear any yeah. mockage here. So maybe the mockage yeah. the only works in the uh, science no, fiction I game. Him it's, Rusty. It's, the, it's the macro. He's got the macro going now. Yeah, <laughs> he's got the macro. So finally, he's got he's, he's got normal. He's dice. running the macro, and every time he's got it, it's typing. Him, he's whispering him. You know, it's whispering the <laughs> mockage to him Part each time. Of, okay. The bottom of the macro is just showing up as a whisper. Yeah. I'll try and do <laughs> my soldier. Funny. Go ahead and roll soldier. Give other people something to play with. Two dice for a, nope, for a seven. Hell. Now we'll get, let's okay. see if we can get Berserker back. That would be nice. Give it to somebody else on a roll of a nine. Oh, no. No. Uh, no. You, you guys congratulated me. We screwed me. it up. We Probably should have just acted about. like it was What about horrible. champion? Let's do Ch the champion. champion on a nine. Yeah, that's something we could turn into something. I no champion. He went I, cold, think, man. I think that's we cooled I, went cold. I think that's we cooled exhausted him. yourself. We cool. He that's got the movie cooler out. Got the necromancer with, with the magic. That's all you need for magic, probably. So let's uh, let's move over to Conrad. Conrad, where are you in the game? And and that expires your plus one bonus as well, Rusty. Right. Scholar. With all, those all right. Failures. Scholar looking for the eight. That's a miss. <laughs> I'm rolling for my what's the harm is. Uh, that six. was a miss with harm. Yeah, my harm's a six. Harm of six. We open up the harm table. Uh, Fred also is uh, still uh, prone yeah, this I'm, round. I'm Com combat prone of a, uh, a harm of a six. Uh, Conrad, you have suffered a vicious wound. I'll use the oh. glory pip to get rid of that. Yeah. That's my last glory pip. That's a glory pipper right there. Okay, you sure? We may need magic later, but okay. No, uh, no vicious <laughs> wound for Conrad. Vicious wound. Go ahead. <laughs> He's a little ah, scholar. He's, he can't he, take a vicious. He can take two? What is he worried about? He's a little okay. scholar. He can't take two of them. Die. Uh, we don't want Rusty to be the first one to die with the great roles he's doing. Uh, Conrad, uh, what Mariner's is he already, Mar Mariner's hey, already in the up, game. So. Up, so I can do something later. How about Delver? Did I get that right Spy and Thief to bring him up? Uh, spy and Thief would bring him up, yes. I, but I have neither of those. Oh, no, <laughs> I have Thief. You have to use magic. I have, would thief. have to. Let me roll the 10 on 10 to get the Thief into play. Okay. Uh, that's a success. So thief's in play. Now you can change Mariner into spy on a roll of an eight. It's uh, magic. Let me, let me do that. Mariner on a roll of an eight. Okay. Yeah, break a 14 is a success. <laughs> Why don't you lift break up? Some laws, scholar. And so, yeah, then I'll bring up, then I'll bring up, uh, now, the spy and the let's thief. let's back up just a little bit. How did you magically turn a mariner into a spy, either mentally or physically? What, what laws of the universe did you break there? One or two haven't been broken yet. Does it matter if I does it matter if I break a law that hasn't been broken or 
No, there's no, there's nothing yeah, it's, special. It's the identity. I think Fred is it's just a, making sure that the party has broken all the laws, so we're not at first acts all so the we time. Go to jail. Yeah, uh, identity would be the one that I would choose, right? Sure. Identity makes perfect sense. So you're going to break law three, and normally a mariner is different from a spy, but very close. And you could easily there's many there's probably many mariners who have been spies in 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 the past, famous ones. In fact, you're going to give a little bit of they're going to channel a little bit of that historic uh, bravado into our spy in the game. Fred goes yep. up. You lifted Fred Yay. up. What was the situation when you lifted Fred up? Just for color, was he? Uh, swamp by seaweed? Was he being dragged under? Tell me a little story about you saving Fred. Was he grateful? Of course, he wasn't grateful. I just <laughs> blocked the, uh, I just blocked the the mermaids from attacking him. So he was, he didn't have to defend himself. So he managed to stand up. You stepped so, forward. Were you shielding yourself, or were you parrying a lot of these uh, tridents coming at you? Just distracting the, tr just distracting the mermaids to attack me, rather than Fred. So Fred didn't even know that anybody helped him. <laughs> yeah, I'm Cause indifferent. He, I didn't, you wouldn't I want didn't notice. I don't, I, think yeah, that's that's, right. I, don't I think that's all your actions, correct? Uh, Battle is yeah. chaos. I, no, well, now that now the Mariner's gone, I did not roll for Mariner before, so I'm going to roll for Mariner now. Okay, go eight, ahead. Which is a good one to roll, right? And that's yeah. a fail, but not a but not. Have you done your sorcerer and conjurer yet? Um. Yes. Did I? I yes, because I got spy. Um. I can. I, I converted the Mariner to spy. That was the. But you have not rolled the skill of conjurer. Oh no no no! I'm not rolling skill I'm of not sorcerer. Rolled, yeah, so let me roll. Let me roll. Uh, conjurer on a first. ten. Okay, sorcerer on a ten. Yeah, I'm sorry. Pardon, conjurer. Conjurer first on a ten. And that's a twelve. That's a success. And uh, we don't necessarily need sorcerer, but did you want to put it in play on a ten? Um, let me try. The harm is yours. I think a wise man said it's only like a seven percent. Yeah, it's only seven. I mean, yeah, psh, it's like in a play cause and Rusty can't high. miss three in a hey, row. You know? You're only if you only roll twelve times, it's only going to occur once. Go ahead yeah, and roll Rusty, your sorcerer. Rusty will never miss four in a row. No, Rusty's not going to miss four in a row. Let me roll for Berserker. Berserker is a good one to get into play. Fourteen, she's in play. If we can get Spy into play by somebody else, we also can get that glory, uh, that uh, battle cry. But yeah, uh, anything else you can roll. I am not going to push it for sorcerer because I know. That, uh, that rolling too many times is a recipe for disaster. All right, I'm going to go over to Fred. Fred, you have been brought back in from prone yeah, by the actions of uh, of the saints and angels. Uh, you just stand yeah. up on your own, Fred. What would you like to roll first, Fred? I'm going to do scout first. Go ahead. It's always a good basic. Now, remember, spy and berserker can give we you a bonus to the roll. Yeah, I'm going for spy next to get okay. the bonus. Go ahead and take the roll, uh, spy. It's going to be a roll of a 10. Did it. Would you like to cash Spy and Berserker for plus one to your rolls, Fred? Yeah, yeah. And you said it's a D4? Yes, a D4. <laughs> no! Guys oh. don't like to have bonuses, I see. Fred, All you right. can also roll your um, Tactician on a roll of a nine. Yeah, yeah let's, let's get Tactician into play. It's always good to have one we can change into something. Yes. Did you say we need a, a Headman or something to take her out? Um, not yet. We haven't discussed what we need to take her out. Oh, there's, there's, there's plenty of play ahead Oops. and you have not I got your tactician. Been. Now I haven't done my armsman yet. You still you have, have the armsman. armsman. We, we do need armsman and then you would end up being able to kill the rest of the mermaids on this roll of a nine. Hmm. Fred, how would you like to send the mermaids the running? Sure. I thought they already did. Uh, no, there was uh, oh, okay. you've killed a total of forty out of the out of the uh, seventy. This would be sixty, okay. and then the rest yeah, would run. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's let's get rid of some of them. How did necromancer, conjurer, and armsman come together to get rid of the last thirty uh, mermaids? They're already fighting with each other, undead. Well, conjurer made their made their uh, cla the claws of the undead crabs uh, uh, super weapons and uh, arms. That, that is wonderful. That's good. Because yeah. Rusty already put them into play. So now they're super killer crabs. So now we got the super crabs. killing crabs chasing the undead mermen crabs. out the sea. Well done. I'm going to take these off the board just so they were not confusing and Conrad can mark what we need to kill Aquila. And let me check that now. Now Aquila is, I believe, a demon beast. 
Oh, she's got two and things, huh? Did I make her a demon beast? That would just be mean to make her a demon beast. You said earlier. So we know you did it. Yeah, <laughs> she's a she unfortunately is a is a demon beast. And in order to kill a a, a beast without any problems, you would need to go to the advanced actions. And I don't think we have anything without magic on that. Um, let me open up my quick look. And beast. Now, beast, you can make a beast mortal for die four rounds with champion, duelist, and any specialist. So that's within your wheelhouse. So let's mark that down. Champion, duelist, yeah. and any specialist. Champion, duelist, and then any 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 specialist, other specialist. And, and the demon to make a demon a uh, mortal. Um, let's see, a demon, demon ever mortal. No, you're not going to be able to uh, pull that one off. That would take a few acclaim skill to make a demon, a demon mortal. You need a uh, ascetic conjurer and thief. Ascetic conjurer and thief. To yeah, mar mar mark them, mark them uh, green or something. Circles. Can you do green circles? Ascetic. <laughs> Duelist and thief, I think I said, right? Conjurer and thief, right? Conjurer, thank you. Conjurer and thief. So yeah. we could get conjurer and thief. We need magic to get aesthetic. Yeah. Um, aesthetic is not connected uh, to you. You would have to change a specialist into a specialist skill. That's uh, safe limits. That's only going to be a roll of a nine. So that's not too bad. I don't even see aesthetic on this list. Where? It's the below berserker. Below berserker. So we need oh, I see. Okay, there it is. Okay. And, and duelist so is below arms. We could probably turn Delver into aesthetic, right? A demon, a demon. There's if if we wanted to throw other things into this mix, it could or you could make could the demon uh, mortal, aesthetic. but it would cause harm. It, yeah, aesthetic conjurer and thief is really the safer route. So aesthetic uh, conjurer. Did I spell that right? Is it E R O R? It's an O R. English so funny and thief that's going to be the demon part and we know the champion and duelist and uh what was the third part and, of that and, triad and, and, any any basic word. and any specialist would get us any specialist. Oh, any specialist. Okay. we have to get rid of both of those uh within the die four turns that we thank you uh, uh mr boxman and uh so let's look at these now. Now, Fred, did you have any any actions le yet uh, left that you can make with your plus one modifier, or have you used up all your I, skills? I used all my rolls, yeah. I think we're no. going over to Greg. Now, Greg, yep. uh, Berserker and Spy will still get modifiers for you, but we really want to concentrate on uh, Ascetic, which I think we have to do with Magic, Conjurer yep. and Thief. So, so let's, let's look at your basic skills. You can skills turn first. any specialist into Ascetic with a Magic roll. That is correct. So let's just start rolling. I got to get the Mariner first. I'll roll Mariner. Yeah, yeah. Mariner, sure. Got that. Okay. Mariner's in play. Thief is a rather important one. So let's see if I can get Thief on a 10. 13, because I've got Thief. Um, might as well try to get Berserker, because we might be able to change that or use it for a um, battle cry. So no, not, oh. not quite. Not good. Not good. Uh, roll, give me a combat your damage, arm, please. You guys. Okay. Seven, we've got a that seven. I think as a bleeder wound. Ah, uh, it looks like I just take that. Taking a bleeder wound. Two bleeders become a vicious. Too vicious, then you go down to the death table. All right, let's. Any try. other rolls, sir? Yes, uh, Delver. Okay. Yeah, get, get, get a specialist that. out there. And Rogue, I get Rogue into play, so we might be able to change. Rogue, Rogue. is already in play. Oh, Rogue. Oh. Rogue is already in play. Oh, oh. And uh, uh, see if you can change one then. Change, see oh. if you can change Rogue into uh, He uh, Greg has yet to do first acts, I believe. So. He did one. No, I did last time. Oh, okay. Well, change. you can on a roll of what did I say? A nine. A nine. Turn your. Uh, um, let Rogue me find one aesthetic. here. A uh, rogue, you turn rogue into aesthetic on uh, a, a roll of a nine, or you can again wait till you get the bonuses of berserker and spy before you attempt these rolls. Um, let's let's wait to attempt. Over to Rusty. Rusty, what would you like to do, sir? Well, 
let's see. Um, <clears throat> let's start with um, Soldier. Okay. So roll of an eight. Uh, made it. And uh, on a roll of an eight, see. you can turn Soldier to Spy with magic. And uh, well, we don't need Spy, do we? Yeah, you can get a plus one for your rest of your rolls. This might be worth it. Yeah, that didn't work out very well for me. <laughs> that didn't so. work for two people. All right. Well, right so. now you 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 probably don't need anything more than Mariner and Soldier to kill the thing after you get aesthetic, champion, duelist, conjurer, uh, thief, and the other specialist skill. Well, I'm so I I can uh, roll for champion. We you need can. champion. Two dice for a ten. Nope. Uh, let's see, and um, then I can do, um, let's see, get Berserker Arms, here. It's two dice for ten. Spy that gets you the nope. Armsman. Go, go, get, go. And correct, Arms Conrad. Uh, a Berserker and Spy get you the bonus. Oh, boy. The, uh, the, you, the you dice here? have gone cold for me. Dice but, have gone uh, cold, uh, perhaps. Uh, uh, they're, uh, they're done being cold. They're, they're getting hot again. Is that I, all of the rolls that you wish to make, uh, Rusty? As all the rolls I can. Oh, I can do a magic, right? Yeah, you can try to if change you wish. Um, So we need to get uh, a static, which you're going to have to use with magic. And what was the other one we needed? Uh, Duelist, Champion. which is... They're all, is, they're all marked uh, there. So Conjurer... So Duelist or... Duelist. Or uh, aesthetic. Um, and is there any particular order that we should be doing it squares or circles? Um, I think you need them both they, to make it they, they both have to happen within yeah. the same die four turns, since those are die four turn actions. Oh, okay. So, so. And if Greg's uh, roll or Fred's roll is going to be a one. <laughs> <laughs> or Rusty. <laughs> so. Rusty. Rusty ain't gonna make no rolls for us tonight. <laughs> so I don't see he's any. Uh, he's got the yips. You need a you, specialist to turn something into a duelist, right? Yeah, you could change rogue to ascetic or or rogue to um, duelist champion. Uh, he can roll champion outright if he can make. Oh a roll. yeah, I see. Just go for I, that. I failed the I failed oh, the failed. champion roll, okay. but the we want to get duelist and ascetic, aesthetic. Yeah. So it. So to do that, though, we only have what's from going from profession to specialist. Profession moving from a perfect like scout to duelist is probably going to be a brazen act. It's going to start with a, a role that's going to be too higher. So instead of a an eight, you're going to need a 10 or, or and nines for the, it can it can result special. on a fail of an automatic uh, bleeder injury and the loss of uh, glory pips. So I'm going to wait till we actually get some other specialists in here, and uh, so I'll pass. Okay. Now, the uh, Aquala, uh, the nymph, uh, Dryad, grows really big and knocks somebody random down. So everyone roll two dice, and whoever rolls the lowest has been knocked down. Oh. Whew. I like that roll. Craig, <laughs> Rusty, Rusty has been knocked down. He's going to lose his actions next turn unless we oh, get no. the lift of the thief and the spy. Conrad, oh, over to you. Now, down, it we? takes soldier and three skills in order to uh, eliminate the knockdown, but it will only be for each round. So if you use your soldier, your scout, your mariner, and... Uh, one other like thief although you thief is important to you you will cancel that one player of the group is knocked down each round for one round yeah let me see let's just see if we can get some of these things into play okay let's I'm start with roll. scholar yeah scholar two dice looking for the eight she's in now scholar is in play which means if anyone uses mariner scholar scout and soldier then next round after we get back to rusty uh, Aquala's titanic features, her behemoth pe features, would not knock somebody down for that turn. Uh, so I could do that right now, right? You may. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's get it off the board. 
All right. How did you uh, how did you combine these skills to prevent the nymph from growing Colossus or keep your own players from slipping in the sand and getting knocked down? I just down stood on a surf? hill and told I just uh, as a scholar, I directed them where not to stand. Right. Just got a so, got a, a high point and watch. You're it, finding said, some depressions there. in the mud of the surf there. Yeah, don't right? go there. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Watch for so, the foot. You got some traps set. Don't get uh, don't get undermined by the clams in the soil. I'm, I'll buy it. And uh, so now next round, no knockdown. But how are we working toward champion, duelist, ascetic, conjurer, so, and thief? Two dice looking for the mariner. Of an eight. It, it. And that's a success. And then let me go to the conjurer, who is a is now a ten. And I missed that one. Unfortunately, that was that was the one I wanted. A sorcerer, also a ten. There you Got go. Least. And then uh, let me bring in. Um, I got Rogue and Delver. Rogue is in play. Delver is not. Yeah, let me bring Delver in if I can. Okay, roll of a ten. And that's a miss. And I don't have any glory points to bring that one up. Uh, so let me take. Uh, he said Should rogues I give him in play, the socks right? And put the socks on him to get a ten out of that nine. He could put the socks on. He's sort of cursed by having the socks on, though. What the disadvantage of the socks is to take them off. You take combat harm to take them off. Oh, he can take that. <laughs> but I'm not in the <laughs> underworld anyway, right? Serious wound. <laughs> if you want to put I'll, the socks on, you can. I'll put the socks on. Plus one to your rolls. That gives you a. Uh, you were rolling there for Delver, I believe. Yes. Hey, Delver comes on. You're plus one to your rolls now for the rest of this adventure. And then uh, let me do um, – let me roll magic to try to convert the rogue to the ch – uh, no, we've got somebody that can roll the champion, right? Yes. So yeah. let me let me There's, use the – You want to take Delver to ascetic. Uh, Delver to ascetic, okay. Sounds Delver good. to ascetic is a roll of a nine. Eight for me because of the plus one, right, while I'm outside. Correct. And I missed it. All right. And we're going to pass it over to Fred. All right. So first, let me get the scout in the play. We also need Spy and Thief uh, yep. I, uh, to r lift Rusty up, if, or he's going to lose his actions next Well, round. we've got Thief, so let me let me get Scout in the play. And I'll okay, go Scout, spy. go ahead. Got it. And then, Scout is uh, in play. Uh, spy, you said we need Spy to get lift him up. We have yep, Thief. On a roll of a 10. All right. Nope. Boy, I'm right. seeing that the, the theme of this Are game is the ones you want, but not the ones you get. But. Yeah, let, let me go for Armsman. Go ahead, Armsman, sure. On a oh, 10. Yeah, got that. And uh, so then I can go for Tactician. Tactician, right. sure. Yeah, we got another specialty in the play. We're going to need those because we're going to need to swap them around. Um, that's going to be what, a 10? A 10. No. But at least it wasn't doubles. Uh, and then I guess, what do we need? to? We need to change something to aesthetic, right? So let's say we could change Delver to aesthetic. If you want to use uh, magic, yes, you can change Delver to aesthetic on a roll of a nine. Yeah, I already broke the planes twice today, so let's do it one more time. <laughs> I'm, gonna break, I'm going to break that uh, law four again and, 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 and change the properties here. Uh, oh, boy, here we go. Oh! Eleven. Yeah. All right. Aesthetic is now in play. Well done, Fred. All what right. happened? How did what? How did you use magic that turned a a mere Delver into an aesthetic or a, aesthetic? It. You know, it's, it's already it's, it's in the it's in the same. Uh, uh, it's just below it. So I, I just I just lowered it. You know, to, from Delver to aesthetic. I, I I changed the name of it. They're very very uh, similar in professions. Delvers are very stoic yeah, yeah, or aesthetic. Changed the name of it. You know. <laughs> you change the game in terms of mechanics, very meta. I will allow it. It's uh, Delver has become aesthetic at this moment. Fred, I'm going to pass over to Greg. Greg, what would you like to do? All right. Um, well, let's roll some uh, skills. Mariner's already in play. Yeah, Rust needs to be lifted up still. Do you have any way of doing that? <laughs> yeah. Um, do we have Berserker? Let's. I might as well roll Rusty, Berserker. But if, but if Rusty gets up, he's going to... Uh... He's going to roll. Gonna roll. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be sad. Yeah, oh. yeah. I think okay, that was wait. Berserker, correct, Greg? Yes, and I accidentally hit it twice. So 
the berserker, my first roll is a two, so that's another harm, and then I rolled an eleven for the uh, combat. Uh, did you did not make the berserker roll? Is that what you're saying? I did not. In fact, I mishapped. All right, so let's get the mishap roll of combat harm of an eleven. Eleven, you're not going to like this. Okay, you are unnerved going forward, Greg. All your doubles cause harm. Okay. That should be lots of them. All right, so <laughs> then let's try. Um, now, to eliminate the unnerved, if I look at my quick look actions, I believe you're going to need a specialist, uh, an advanced action uh, to uh, cancel unnerved. It's just Mariner and Mystic. Is that on the board at the moment? Mariner and not Mystic, though. Okay, Mariner and Mystic, we need to, to make Greg uh, less damaging to the party. Oh, well. Conrad can get the mystic in. And I might as well. Let's try to do um, Delver. Get Rusty back in. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's roll on This that. guy's killing himself. <laughs> I'm gonna let's, uh, let's see some harm. Oh, we rolled a double heavens. on the harm roll. A 10? Yeah, do doubles on the hard roll. That, do they, those those <laughs> <don't>? cost more <laughs> No, no, no. Greg, you are stunned. Uh, I mean stunned. We're going to cancel all of your skills in play and uh-oh. your minus one on your attempts going forward. We only so, made one. Uh, yeah, Mariner, was, right? Beef and Mariner. No, I think Mariner was up there already. No, I, I ju- just made the Mariner, and I think uh, before. It's, uh, it's yeah. not what's just been made. We just match his skills up to the okay. board, oh. Oh, and we take them off. So uh, are, are all the thief. Oh, yeah, I yep. took the thief off. I took the Mariner off, okay? And now you're minus one on your rolls to eliminate the stunned. Uh, wow, this table is becoming very important to us as a party. To eliminate a stunned roll, uh, you need to go, um, you can cancel your own with Berserker and Scholar, or to cancel it by somebody else, uh, you need Scholar and Thief. So I'm going to mark Scholar and Thief for somebody to save Greg from his stun. Hmm. And uh, Greg, I think at this point you probably should pass. Yeah, yeah, I'm passing. Uh, Rusty, Scholar and Thief to take away Greg's penalty. I'm not down. Greg, uh, thank you, Rusty. Rusty is down. So far, one character has not made a skill roll. That would, if we go around the table and that should apply to everyone, it's going to be, it's going to be super ugly for us. And uh, let's start with the next thing. Conrad, would you like to make a roll for us? Uh. Yes, uh, uh, let's go with Scholar first. Scholar, yeah. give me the two. There we go. Scholar's in. Scholar's right. in. Let me go ahead and bring in... Uh, you can bring in Thief and take away the stun roll. Yeah, let me bring in Thief. I'm looking for the nine on that. And that's a fail. Let me bring in Conjurer. That's a nine. That's a miss. Let me bring in... Uh, I believe I have Berserker. Yes, bring, in bring in Berserker. Yeah, okay, bring in a Mystic. Okay, looking for the nine. There it is, Mystic. Mystic is in. You can always turn the, yeah. Uh, Berserker? Uh, yeah, I'm going for Berserker now. Two dice, looking for the nine. Twelve, it is. Berserker's in play. Now, you have a number of other ones. You have Delver. Rogue is already in play, but then you have a uh, sorcerer and conjurer. Conjurer is one that we need for the table. Yeah, turn 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 one of them into conjurer. A nine he failed for his conjurer. conjurer, I thought. Yeah, he's I thought gonna I, turn, he's gonna I, thought I failed the conjurer. Is that not correct? I I don't think he's done the conjurers yet, Rusty. I think he was oh, okay. doing the professionals around the table to help Greg and and pick people yeah, you, up. Yeah, you failed your thief. Yeah. yeah, go ahead and uh, oh, and conjure. roll me two dice of a ten, a nine for you because you have the elven shoes on. Conjure. There it is. So and then I also have, have sor- the sorcerers in already, so that's no good. Uh, Mystic, I. Th- what Mystic, do we need? I, Maybe you can I turn made something Mystic. into a two. One. Mystic and is I already in play. Thief, thief, I missed. Berserker, I made. Rogue and Delver. Are the Mariner, did you try your Mariner roll? Turn your... Um, 
I do not think you have. Yeah, I missed I think, the Mariner roll. I think you missed the Mariner so. roll. By missing the Mariner roll, you cannot take away the unnerved with Mariner and uh, with Mariner and Mystic. Now you can either uh, pass over to Fred, or you can use your magic to turn Scout into Mariner, so that you can cancel Greg's unnerved. Every double is uh, is harm for Greg. Yeah, turn away because I'll roll it this next round probably. Okay, so your roll is I'm only better. a seven. It's only seven an eight it is. with the boots. It's a seven to uh, I'm turn make scout, scout into mariner. Into, scout into mariner. Go ahead. Uh, a scout nine, has become a, a mariner. Would you like to apply mariner and mystic and eliminate the unnerve threat from Greg? Yes. Okay. Now, how did you, uh, as a combination, how did you use magic to take away Greg's unnerved using scout and mystic? I um I just altered the memories, right? So a scout and a and a mariner yeah, very probably. similar. You took right? away his yeah. bad memories that he was yeah. uh, he was attacking this uh, uh, fifty foot tall uh, nymph. Oh, it's right in front of you again, Greg. But uh, it was yeah. you were only doing it in, in your imagination before. All right, I think you've done all the roles you can, Conrad. Are we passing over to Fred? Uh, so Delver, Delver is the only other is the only other one. Roll of a nine. Nine. Thanks. <laughs> I got you sweating, don't I? That's fail. Every time those rolls are coming up now. I, did, I, I haven't. Uh, so I used the magic as well. Yeah. So okay, that's it. That that's everybody. I'm, I'm over at Fred. Fred, uh, what would you like? All to right, I'm gonna do armsman first. Armsman first. Armsman's in play, Fred. Oh, armsman is in play. Yep. All what right. Was, what uh, I'm gonna go here? for spy then. Spy, super. Go ahead. Give me a ten. Got it. Spies in play. Spot is in play. All right. And then I'm going to go for tactician. Tactician. Two dice. You could use spy and berserker to get yourself the uh, dice bonus before you go forward. Oh, yeah. They're both in play now, right? Yep. Do you want the plus yeah, one for uh, die four turns? Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and take that then. Go ahead um, and roll, roll me a die four. four. Of course, a one. <laughs> Let's battle cry but for one turn. This is good. Turn. This is good. This is good. Okay, so I'm going for the the, the tactician. tactician. Now. Give me tactician on a nine, please. Did it? Okay. And now I'm gonna go for a scout to get a base the basic in. Okay, a scout on a seven. And got that. Okay. And now I'm going to. Uh, which one was I gonna turn here? I forgot. Now I was gonna try to get the chief. You can turn Me. Scout into Thief on a roll of a seven. No, no, no. I'm going to go for right. one of the big ones here. I was going to try to turn Duelist. Duelist. Uh, Armsman into Duelist. Armsman won't work. Uh, you would need to turn Tactician it's got a line into Duelist. straight down to it. No, uh, Fred, you're turning oh, any professional. Oh, yeah, you're turning any specialist skill into tactician. any specialist skill. Oh, we have Tactician. Okay, so I can turn yes. Tactician into tactician Duelist. Tactician to Duelist. With mine. You're going to have to give me a roll of an eight with your plus one. Okay. Two uh, dice. Let's go for it and did and it. Made okay. It. Nice roll, Fred. How did uh, how did a tactician become a duelist in your universe? Okay. Let me let me look back at the log and here and see what it is. It's forty eight page. Okay. Um. Okay. Because so all the planes are separate and distinct. Um, I'm going to connect the planes uh, together temporarily with a little bridge what? for a tactician. And, and Describe a plane that you contacted. Was Just start with a color. What was the tactician point? Tactician would probably be logical. Okay. What is the logic? What does the plane of logic look like to you? Uh, green. Green. Okay. Is it a nice Forrest Kelly green or is it a is it a brilliant, you know, neon like green? It's like a little drab. It's a drab. It's gosh. To be an intellectual is a drab thing, is what you're saying, right? Yes, yes. It's sort of depressing to be a scholar. He's getting even with you, Conrad. And then we're going over to to uh, to do us. They're pretty. Uh, they're pretty bright and uh, and and red because it's blood, you know, dueling. Um, so yeah. So so you you turn oh. part of a green. A plane of existence into a red plane of existence. Probably all of your shoes have changed color by doing this as well. It's just an artifact of your a action. And okay. we move on. I go over to Greg. Okay, so I was un unnerved. Am I still stunned? 
Uh, you are still stunned. You're minus one of your rolls. In order to cure that stun, I think we said it's going to be Scholar and Thief, although it's I a little bit different for already. you to uh, to uh, cure I yourself. Well, let's try to get Mariner out on the board. Let's see. Uh, to, to remove your own stunned, uh, you know, can you even do that? And let me just say it's good I that added I added a scholar and thief on the list. That's for somebody else to remove the scholar, okay. uh, the stunned. Okay. Uh, I believe uh, there's a, a, du a duality here that the, the skills needed to remove it off yourself are always different than the skills needed for somebody else to uh, to do it. Um, cancel allied stun we knew was scholar and thief. Cancel own stun is berserker and scholar. Okay. So you'd need to get Berserker into play somehow, Greg. You could do that by creating a, a soldier skill and turn it to Berserker or change your Mariner into Berserker. Mariner. But let's let's start with Mariner. So you just roll for it. Let's yeah. start you can with just Mariner. Roll it. You can so just roll I it. got Mariner, even with ah, the minus one. You can roll Berserker, you're saying. Go ahead and roll it. Yeah. yeah. So might as well roll Berserker now at it's minus 10. one. And it's an 11. No. So I, I don't get that, but no mishap. Yes. And we need to get Thief out there, so let's try to roll a... Nah, failed Thief also. Um, and there, I mean, I guess I could try to get Delver out there. Yeah, now, that'd Delver be an 11. Back. You're starting to push into the realm yeah. of you're going to get more, you're going to get more harms than you're going to get successes, but... So, um... Well, and you are bleeding. The other two other 11s before. Yeah, but we have to kill these things. Ah, no. Failed it also. Um, so, well, that's about it, I guess. All Over right. to Rusty. Rusty, you're finally Rusty, back up in the game. Rusty, we need that champion. <laughs> let's, let's roll the champion first. All right. The <laughs> oh, what did you do? Before you do that, Rusty, we need to have a soldier plus three professional skills or, or um, a, uh, the behemoth that's going to knock somebody down. All right. Well, we can do soldier. Give me my two dice for soldier then. That's an that right. soldier. What four skills did you want to use to cancel the behemoth action? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> so we don't need scholar and we don't need scout. And do we need is rogue useful at all? A rogue is a specialist skill. Um, so you're yeah, looking at Mariner. 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 So, uh, Mariner Armsman. A Mariner, Mariner, and then... Uh, Conrad uh, is a Mariner. Take, yeah. take, take the yeah, Mariner. Mariner. We've got two of those, right? We've got two Mariners. Now, how did and you stop I, the, the behemoth? How did you... Uh, how did like Conrad directed you away from uh, soft sparts uh, with quicksand. How did you uh, use those four skills, Scholar, Scout, Squelcher, Mariner, to protect the group from being knocked down? Yeah, the... the uh, <clears throat> using my Mariner skills, uh, I uh, noticed a boat on the horizon and uh, said, hey, look over there at that pretty boat. And... So you're trying to keep them from being seasick, which is perfect. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, the 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 great and the powerful Rusty. Where's that champion roll that we've missed four times? All right, so now I get to roll it again. Oh, did you miss champion already? Yeah, I it. did. My first roll was a miss for it. Oh well, champion <laughs> is still out of play. <laughs> But you could try to change something to champion. I could change something with magic, but uh, first let's do, uh, let's see. Uh, I should have used a Berserker and Arms, but let's try and get Berserker back. Okay. Two dice for a 10. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking at the time saying you're almost out of luck here, brother. So <laughs> anything else you can try. Yes, just, I can use magic to... Let's see, magic to try and get champion that way. Let's see who the, uh, what is it, rogue? It's rogue. You yeah. have to turn rogue into champion on a rogue roll of into nine. champion. Let's do it. There we go. The Ten magic is working out correctly, but he can change something to no, it. Exactly. The, <laughs> the, uh, the, the skills are failing, but the magic is strong in this one. Very good roll, Rusty. How, what, uh, what sort of magic did you use to make the rogue into a champion? Well, we know any rogue. With given the proper uh, 
medals can be made into a champion. So. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna you're gonna uh, uh, conjure. I conjured the, some medals. Imagine, and you're gonna that, put uniforms on all of your champion. fellow characters. It is the uniforms Correct. of our Correct. battle. All right, we have conjurer. We have ascetic. We have champion. We have duelist. Uh, we need thief and we need a specialist skill. Is it time to yeah, pass? Man, we no, have a sorcerer as a specialist a skill. Go for it, Rusty. You have a sorcerer uh, as a specialist skill. Rusty, before you do this, you need at least two other professional skills in play for somebody to kill the thing after you make it no longer beast and no longer yeah, demon. Yeah, so I, I'll pass because I've, I've used all my roles. Oh, you, you okay, go I go over to go. Conrad. Oh. Conrad, we need at least two Conrad, other what professional skills. What do you think skills. I can roll? I think you could change armsman into into uh, a thief. He already used no, the magic. I already used my magic. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, so Conrad, done. would you please give us a roll of mariner? Eight, uh, seven. We're gonna need a basics, two basics at least. And would you please give us a roll of scholar? Seven. And thief. And now, Conrad, you have the ability to roll a thief on a nine to end this. Thief on a nine. No mockage? What? what there's no, yeah, no, well, there's no I'm mockage. Gonna make this. Red, Red's going to give it to you anyway. Too he's slow. Out of time. No, Too thief. slow. Don't you have if, a last pip? Because that's a six. That, gone. You, you can one. turn the armsman into a thief on a roll of a seven. Can't you just roll thief? Uh, he, he missed his roll of thief. He got a oh. three and a two. You can turn your uh, armsman onto a thief, or you can pass it to Fred. Armsman oh, he's still got on a roll of seven. Uh, doesn't he? Mystic? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> you have you failed can, at magic. You can still roll some other, some other. Yeah, other roll for mystic. I'm looking at it right now. Let me pull up Delver. Delver's also specialist. Looking for a nine for that. Got it. And it is. All right. I do not think uh, the, the thief is the linchpin, so I would pass. Uh, I got rogue. Is the other, no, no, no. Yeah. He, could, he could go for. Uh, no, he wants to get another. Another. Uh, did you roll your mystic already? Uh, no. Um, get a basic in the play, and I'll go for. Unless you're and unless you're thief. looking to staunch bleeders or get rid of stuns, you guys have got the skills you need in play. Well, let me. Get, uh, get I'll let. I'll let for thief. For yeah, but but yeah. there's it's just a likely chance I'll Mystic make a bad roll at this point. Magic in the thief. So go it's up it. to you, Fred. If he it falls, was you, Fred. Oh it was my always God. you, Fred. Oh he can eliminate. He can eliminate half the skills in the battlefield if he falls yeah. with magic. All it right. was always you, Fred. It was always you. A spy taking up. No, spy is open. All right, so I'm going to roll for spy. Roll your spy. Got it. Okay. You need to turn spy into thief on a roll of an eight. Yeah, yeah. But first, let me go for scout. Uh, isn't covered it's, right now. It's no. There. Uh, it's not necessary. If you make a roll okay, of an eight okay. to turn spy into thief, you win, Fred. And it's to two thirty. Okay. So, I'm going to go and turn that into the thief. Then here we go. Roll. Come on. No joke. It's, no it's joke. Be an eight. No. No, 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 yes, okay. All right, all right. So Fred, how did I do this? How did, how did turn... you kill the monster? Okay, well, well first I got to explain how I ex changed the skill, right? You can describe the whole thing as how is the monster killed, Fred, and give me a little story. Okay, uh, first I turned Spy to Thief because uh, they're basically the same thing. There's just a little shading change there, you know, in color. Okay. Um, we'll change that over, and then... Um, you just need a combination of let's see, it was champion and 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 uh, what was the other one? Duelist and conjurer, right? Correct. Okay, so we um, so How did you I, cancel the demonic I, aspect I became I, I I became a champion. The conjurer the demon was which which three? Just uh, just freestyle it, Fred. How uh, what? Okay, what? I'm trying. Well, I'm, well, I I kind of need to know what the formula was again, so I can. Uh, it. It, it's probably ascetic, a person who's con, uh, solid in concentration, a conjurer who can make his blade enchanted, and a uh, and uh, a thief yeah. who could get behind. Okay, so uh, um, I concentrate heavily on my dagger to enchant it, and then um, I use the the thief to sneak behind and stab her with it. Stab and behind. Let me, yeah, let, me well, let me pass the torch for just a second, Greg. What did you do in the final action to help kill the uh, the giant uh, uh, 
uh, Dryad, the giant uh, nymph. Stop trying to help, thereby hampering <laughs> my, my companions trying to save me with each of my mishaps. You did you did the heroic thing and stood back and made tea. Uh, <laughs> yes, Rusty, exactly. how oh. did you help? Oh, guys, I'm gonna make some how did you help kill the production. monster? What happened you to the mermaids? <laughs> What they didn't realize is all those medals I handed out to make them champ champions of the group. Yes. They also had little LEDs that blinded the uh, triad. <laughs> okay. Magical uh, LEDs. Extra lights were shimmering off of you. As La if you laser had scales. LEDs. Uh, Conrad, how in the final battle did you aid Fred? I was just, I was uh, chanting uh, ancient riddles to her in, in exotic languages to confuse and confusing her. her yeah absolutely fred back to you what actually happened as the monster <laughs> dies as the monster dies yes the, um the the great uh, uh sea god uh, uh comes out and uh he just picks her up and and takes her back into the ocean wow you mean you met a god Huh. Well, That's, we didn't meet him. We just saw him. You saw the god take <laughs> uh, take his daughter away. Whew, you yeah. killed a daughter of a god. Wow, it sounds like you killed the daughter of a god. You guys can all Let's look at your character sheet. We're going to play this one more time next week at least where we're going to test the auto player. All of you should take one skill improvement. Either you can grab a new skill, like be a scholar and a scout, or you can move up the table and make it a scout, and now you're also a tactician. Pick that one new skill. You're going to roll uh, two dice for your glory pips when we play next week, and that's where we're going to start with the auto player next week. Nice game. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Okay. Sounds good. I'm going to take scholar. 